leo ni tarehe ya tano ya mwezi huu wa nane. Tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kutufikisha mwezi huu mwezi baraka nyingi katika maisha yetu ya winjilishaji. Mwezi huu tunafikisha miaka sita ya huduma katoliki ya winjilishaji. Tunakushukuru wewe mtazamaji na wengi ambao wameendelea kutuiga, kutuenzi na kufuatilia matangazo na vipindi vyetu. Ikiwa leo tuko katika dekania ya mama yetu mpalizo uh, mama yetu uh, Malkia wa Bingu na Nchi eneo la Ruiru, mojawapo wa dekania 12 ambazo zinajenga Jimbo Kuu Katoliki la Nairobi. Kumbuka kwamba pia Jumapili jayo ni siku kuja kifamilia kwenye jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi. Na tuko nao baadhi ya viongozi kwenye dekania hii ambao watatuelezea wanavyoshiriki wanavyoishi imani yao kwenye dekania hii. Karibu baba uh, mwenyekiti tuambie majina yako na huduma unayotoa katika dekania hii. Majina yako kwanza na ofisi yako. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Tumsifu Yesu Kristu. Mimi naitwa Kennedy Tonga. Mimi ndiye moderator wa ndina le dekania ya Loilo. Mimi ndiye um, moderator wa dekania Loilo. Dekania hii koje katika katika makanisa na katika eneo. E, dekania hii iko eneo la Loilo na inahusisha parokia tisa. E, parokia ambazo zilianza hii dekania mwaka wa 2019 zilikuwa saba. Batangwa wakati huo tuko na parokia zingine mbili ambazo zimezaliwa mwaka huu. Hizo ni Mary Macrit Kumula na hivi karibuni tumepata parokia nyingine ya Divine Mercy eh, Kenyatta Lord. Ya na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hayo yote. Siku hii ya leo kama dekania mnasherehekea nini ama nini ambacho kimboleta pamoja hapa katika eneo hili? Eh, leo ni siku yetu ya familia na tuna furaha kila wakati tukipata nafasi hii kukutanika pamoja kama dekania ya Loilo ndio tuweze kumsifu Mungu pa, pamoja kumshukuru kwa wale wote ambao ameweza kututendea mwaka uliopita na pia ndio tuweze kueneza injili pamoja ya yeah, so kwa hivyo inakuwa ni nafasi nzuri ya wakristo wetu wote katika dekania kukutana na pia kuunganika na mapadre wetu na baba skofu katika nchi 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 nzima katika kanisa katoliki e, maaskofu walikuwa na zoezi la la kuangalia kusimamia uongozi uongozi wa kanisa e, viongozi wa kanisa katika dekania hii uongozi huu ama uchaguzi umeendeleaje e, tumekuwa na uchaguzi katika ambao litachukua kama miezi mitatu hivi na ulienda vizuri katika dekania yetu katika parokia zetu zote kwa hivyo wakati huu tuko na viongozi wapya ambao watachukua E, nafasi ya uongozi kwa amu ya kuanzia mwaka huu hadi mwaka 2020 2026 e, kwa hivyo tumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya kutufanikishia huu uh, chaguzi yeah. na leo leo kama 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 nia kuu ya, ya ibada hii ya leo sherehe hizi leo nia kuu ya ibada hii katika mtazamo Kaulimbiu ya sherehe hii ya leo ni uongozi na wa utumishi servant leadership na kwa hivyo tunaangazia Yesu Kristu eh, na ku, kuzidi kumuomba ndiye aweze kutuongoza kama ye ndi kielelezo cha servant leadership eh, kwa hivyo eh, sisi ni kuasi wale ambao wamechaguliwa waweze ku, kufuata mfano Eh, wa Yesu Kristu kila wakati wanaongoza taifa la Mungu. Eh, kwa hivyo tuko na furaha eh, ya kwamba viongozi wamejitokeza katika sherehe hii ambayo hasa kama nilivyosema inaelekeza mtazamo wetu katika uongozi. Asante sana ujumbe wa mwisho kwa viongozi wenzako popote pale walipo katika taifa letu. Eh, mimi nikiwa kiongozi hapa katika dekania hii ningewasi viongozi wote wa kanisa tujitolee tujikakamue katika kazi zetu zote e, kazi ambayo tumepatiwa sio uongozi kama wa kisiasa ama uongozi wengine wote huu ni uongozi ambao unahitaji sisi e, kujitolea kabisa na kuweza kutumikia e, wa Kristo Asante sana Mungu akubariki Asante sana
ni msimamizi ama, ama moderator jina la kisasa kwenye jimbo la Nairobi kuu ni kwamba eh, kiongozi huyo anaitwa moderator na tuna pia kiongozi ama msimamizi wa kikundi cha waimbaji tuambie majina yako na ofisi yako baba jina langu ni daktari Elijah Gedhinji Mwangi eh, moderator wa kikundi cha kwaya cha dekania ya Ruiru dekania ya Ruiru kwaya zikoje hapa kwaya za Ruiru kwa hii dekania ni nzuri Uh, kwa kushiriki miza wanakuwa wazuri kifika ni festivals kwa, kwa miaka mitatu ambayo imepita tumekuwa tukiongeza katika vigango zote kutoka za chini mpaka cha juu ni kusema tunaelekeza vizuri na tunatumia huo uibaji wa festivals au wa tamasha ili tuweze kure, kutengeneza uibaji wetu katika misa kwa sababu misa die kuu kuliko uh, hizo tamasha kuna tetezi kwamba hizo festivals tena ni competition ambayo ama ama mashindano ambayo yanaleta hisia kali hisia wakati mwingine mbaya kwa wale ambao wana, wana hisi kwamba wameshindwa ama wameonewa festivals na competition ama tamasha na mashindano kuna nini kinaendelea la hasha festivals sio mashindano bala bali ni kusherekea pamoja uibaji ni kwa vile tu tunatafuta wakaguzi wa kuweza kutuelekeza vile tutakuwa tukishiriki uibaji wetu na tuutengeneze ni watu ambao wanauchukulia hivyo kama mashindano die wanafanya iwe mbaya. Tukiweza kuipata kama mambo ya kutengeneza ibaji wetu, wakaguzi wetu iwe ni kutusaidia kushirikiana pamoja itakuwa mzuri sana. Na ukiangalia kama kutoka kati hizi kwaya za Ruiru zilianza kuingia festivals kwa sasa uibaji katika misa umekuwa mzuri. Tukiweza na pia kukua na hizo festivals wanakuwa onekana wengi. Kwa hivyo inabidi mnaweza kuvuta watu na kuinjilisha vizuri kwa uimbaji. Kwa hivyo festivals ni za maana lakini zikuchukuliwa kwa uzuri na tunenge nyimbo ambazo zitaweza kushirikishwa katika misa. Kuna wale ambao watasema hakuna haja wakaguzi basi iwe tu kwaya inaenda pale kwenye jukwaa wanaimba kulingana na mwalimu wao basi na mtu wa kusema huyu amefanya bora kuliko huyu ili kutoa ile hisia za mashindano. Uimbaji ni taaluma na ni vizuri katika kila kitu unatumia taaluma kuifanya uzuri. Kwa vile tukiimba vile tunataka bila huo utaalamu ta, basi haribu ibaji na haitakuwa mzuri katika kuenesha injili kwa kanisa inabidi tuwe ili tuweze kuiba kitu moja muziki kupeanwa katika wamisa katika uh, parokia fulani wataimba kama ile parokia nyingine so, ni mwelekeo ile naona inaweza kuwa mzuri sana wa festival ni kwamba zile nyimbo tunapeleka kwa festival ziwe ni zile za misa ili tuweze kutengeneza misa zetu na tuimbe pamoja kutoka chini mpaka juu lakini pengine uh, ile inafanya shida sana ile inaleta shida sana ni kuleta wimbo ambao hatuweza imbika kwa misa nimesikia hiyo mara nyingi na nafikiria hatuna tunajaribu kuangalia kama inaweza tengenezwa tuweze ni zile nyimbo za misa ambazo za kuja kutengeneza uibaji katika misa zetu kwa watazamaji wetu ambao wako kwenye jimbo zingine nini kinaendelea katika uwanja wa wanakwaya ama waimbaji kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi kwa wakati huu wakati huu kama sahi kuna festivals kama leo kunazo zinaendelea za class bronze na silver ziko isili centeresa ambazo pia kuna kwa zetu zimeenda huku kwa kwa ya ine za ruiru tunatakia mzuri na tunatakia ibaji mzuri huko lakini malengo yetu pia ni hizo festivals tengeneze ibaji wetu kwa hivyo zilianza hapo kutoka saa mwendo wa saa mbili mpaka karibu saa kumi. na, na tunaendelea hivyo inakuwa kana ni, ni ni crisis mingi kuna kuna nane za baada ya ruro na aban kuna crisis tano kutoka ruro tuko na alpha crisis d c b a x apex nao aban tuko na bronze silver gold diamond na platinum uimbaji inakusaidia kutuweka pamoja na kulete wataalamu wa mziki kudegeneza mziki kanisani eh, tunasherekea tuna pamoja wanasema wengi kwamba kwaya za hapa kwetu zimejaa wazee zimejaa wakongwe kwa sababu vijana hawapatiwi nafasi ya kuimba kama kwaya isipokuwa ama kuimba kama vikundi vya, vya vijana watengeneze kwaya zao kama vijana unasemaje uh, hiyo tetezi tulisikia kama miaka miwili iliyopita na tumefanya ajabu kugeuza hiyo ukienda katika kanisa kadhaa tumetengeneza kwaya za youth 
za vijana uh, na hata ukienda kama hizo fancy boys tunakuwa mbili za youth ukienda kwa kanisa tofauti za youth kwa tunataka kuwapatia nafasi waweze pia kuingia uibaji kwa sababu sasa tulizopokuwa na youth nikusema wazee tukitoka hakuna uibaji tena so tunapatia nafasi pia youth wawe na pia kuna festivals tumetengeneza za youth na ukitengeneza festival za youth zinafanya hata wao wanjui wanaweza kuimba na wanakaribia na pia kwaya inakuwa kama familia kutoka mtoto mdogo wa PMC mpaka huyo mzee ili tuweze kuendelea kwa hivyo uibaji kwa, kwa hizi vikundi hata bado tulikuwa na shida ya wazee sasa hizi wazee ni wengi kwa sababu kuli kutuleta mziki katika chama cha wazee ili waweze kushiriki na wajua naweza imba na ameishiriki kwa hivyo tunaweza kuendelea uibaji wetu kutengeneza kutumia festival za different groups na tuko pamoja sasa mwaka huu katika siku ya siku ya kitaifa ya maombi e, yale ya mwezi wa kumi ni metropolitan ama jimbo e, zile ambazo zinaunda jimbo kuu la Nairobi ambazo zitaongoza kule Subukia naendeleaje na mazoezi nyimbo zipi ambazo mnaandaa tumepanga nyimbo za misa na tuko na wanakwaya uh, karibu elfu tatu ambao kutoka nyimbo na Nairobi wataenda huko Subukia na wimbo tumeanza kutayarisha Uh, ili tuweze kwenda kushirikisha vizuri pia tutakuwa na mazoezi pamoja hawa watu wanaibaji elfu tatu pamoja na baadhi ya jeshi ili tuweze kurembesha na tuweze kutengeneza uh, hiyo misa ya maombi iwe mzuri kwa hivyo kila parokia kama dekania hii ya, ya Ruiro tutapeleka kwa ya tatu na kila kwa itapeleka waibaji wa, wa, wa Mia, mia moja. Kwa hivyo tunatarajia kutoka hapa tutapeleka karibu mia tatu au zaidi. In toto kwa Nairobi tunapeleka wanakwaya elfu tatu. Yes. Ongezi. Tuambie kuhusu misa hii ya leo ibada hii ya misa ya leo. Tunatarajia nyimbo za aina gani leo? Leo kuna nyimbo za misa na nyimbo za ku, ya dhimu ya leo ambayo ni uh, servant leadership. Uongozi utumishi. Ndio takuwa nayo leo ili tuweze kwa sababu dhimu ya leo ni mambo ya servant leadership kwa hivyo lazima tukitengeneza nyimbo ya mauthui ndio wametoka wapi waimbaji wa misa ya leo wametoka katika makanisa gani na ume, umeweza kuchagua kivipi wale waimbaji wa leo waimbaji wa leo tuko na waimbaji 300 uh, karibu 200 wametoka parokia hii the host kwa sababu ni vizuri kupatia nafasi wenyeji wasione kama wana wanaachiliwa alafu mimi ni kutoka uh, all the other parishes parokia zingine nane kwa sababu tuko na parokia tisa kwa hivyo kila parokia viongozi wao wamejiunga ili tuweze kutengeneza kwa moja tumefanya mazoezi pamoja tukakuja hapa tukafanya mara mbili ili tuweze kuiba kuwa na uibaji mmoja alafu tumekuwa wengine tumepatia ruhusa ya festival lakini sisi Misa ya leo ndio ya maana zaidi kwa sababu misa ni zaidi ya hizo tamasha. Kwa hivyo sote tuko 200 kutoka hapa na 100 kutoka hizo zingine 8. Ujumbe wako wa mwisho kwa waimbaji wenzako popote pale walipo kwenye Jamhuri ya Kenya. Ningewaambia tujitolee katika uimbaji kama mtakatifu Sino aliposema uimbaji ni kuiba vizuri ni kusali mara mbili. Tuendelee na uimbaji wetu na mzuri na tujue kazi yetu kwa misa ni kushiriki misa na pia kushirikisha kila uh, mkatoliki wa misa sio yetu sio entertainment yetu ni kuja kusaidia kutengenesha uh, misa sote pamoja sana Mungu akubariki amina kazi njema kazi njema tumekuwa tukiongea na mmoja wa viongozi ambao ni msimamizi wa waimbaji kwenye eh, parokia hii na kwenye dekania hii ya Ruiru mtakatifu Petro tuko katika kanisa la mtakatifu Petro na kama vio, kama unaviona ni kwamba tunaendelea kujiandaa ili tuweze kuanza ibada takatifu ya misa anatarajiwa kwamba kiongozi wa ibada ni mhashamu askofu uh, David Kamau askofu msimami eh, msaidizi kwenye jimbo hili kwenye masomo ya uh, siku ya leo somo la kwanza ni kutoka kitabu cha nabii Isa ya sura ya tisa mstari eh, wa kwanza hadi wa sita na zaburi ni zaburi ya mia na kumi na tatu eh, kitikio anasema jina la bwana litukuzwe hata milele somo la pili limetoka katika uh, waraka wa mtakatifu paulo kwa waefeso sura ya kwanza mstari wa tatu hadi kumi na mbili injili 
Tunakutana na Yesu katika injili kama ilivyoandikwa na mtakatifu Yohane sura ya 13 mahali ambapo Yesu ali alitaka ali kuwa tawadha wanafunzi wake miguu na pale waka waka wakawa na mazungumzo na Petro mtakatifu kwamba e, Petro hataoshwa miguu na na Yesu na pale Yesu akamfundisha kuhusu utumishi ni kwa sababu ya lengo la misa ya leo kama tulivyosikia ni servant leadership ama utumishi wa uongozi ni, ni kutumikia sio kutawala basi kama unavyoona kwamba ni vijana hawa ambao wanajiandaa e, katika e, kile ambacho tunajua PMC wana, wana nyimbo zao labda tusikie mmoja atu jina lake na anaenda kanisani ama aende shuleni jina lako Michel jina Michel Michel uko na moja unaenda shule wapi tatu primary sita kikundi hiki cha kinaitwa jini hiki kikundi cha Saint Clair Saint Clair nani anawafundisha muziki nani anawafundisha muziki wenu anaitwa anaitwa Njoki anaitwa Njoki PMC mnakutana siku zipi za wiki Saturday na Sande. Halafu na wale watoto ambao wako huko nyumbani hawaendagi church, utawaambiaje? Nitawaambia wako wanakuja. Wako wanakuja church. Eh. Na unaona kama mafundisho ya dini pengine unapokea Ekaristi ama haupokei? Napokea. Umba papa kipaimara? Yes. Wale watoto ambao hawajapewa kipaimara wengine hawaendi, hawaendi mafundisho ya mwalimu katekista, utawaambiaje? Nitawaambia wakuje. Mm-hmm. Very good. Kuna mtoto mwingine hapa pengine atusalimia, tuambie jina lake. Tuambie jina lako. How are you? I'm fine. Jina lako? Makena. Ma? Makena. Makena jina la ubatizo unaitwa nani? Mimi sijabatizwa. Haujabatizwa? Kwa nini haujabatizwa? Mama yako anakupeleka kwenye mafundisho ya, 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 ya kanisa? Sijafikisha miaka. Haujafikisha miaka. Miaka mingapi? Eight. Ha? Eight. Eight. Kwa hivyo umwambie mama akupeleke wapi? Mafundisho. Ili ufanye nini? Nipokee. Ili upokee. Kwa wale wa, 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 watoto wengine ambao hawezi hawajapokea ha, 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 kama wewe, utawaambiaje na wazazi wao? waandikishe watoto waandikishe watoto wao na shule unasoma unasoma shule gani jawabu class grammar grade 3 you are you are you are class teacher anaitwa nani teacher juliet na your best friend hana huh? hana anaitwa hana we wish you the best god bless you ni baadhi ya watoto ambao wanajiandaa katika ibada ya misa hii takatifu ikiwa tuko kwenye dekania ya, mtakat, uh, ya mama yetu Bikira Maria Malkia wa Bingu na Dunia ikiwa leo tarehe tano ni kumbukumbu kumbu ya hiari ya kutabarukiwa kwa bazilika ya mama Maria kwenye mji wa Roma kumbuka kwamba kati ya makanisa makuu kwenye kanisa katoliki ni hilo kanisa ama bazilika ya mama yetu Bikira Maria kutabarukiwa kwake kati ya mwaka 352 na mwaka wa 366 kutabarukiwa maana yake ni kuwekwa wakfu kwa ajili ya matumizi ya imani na matumizi ya injili kati ya watakatifu tunaoa enzi tunawaheshimu siku ya leo ni mtakatifu nona mtakatifu nona jina la kike kama unatarajia kutafuta uh, jina la mtoto um, wako eh, msichana jina nona ni mtakatifu jina paris ama paris kama mji mkuu wa Ufaransa ni mtakatifu aliyekuwa askofu kwa hivyo ni jina la kiume kwa kwako wewe ambaye unatafuta jina la mtakatifu mwanaume kwa ajili ya mtoto wako basi wakati wote ibada ya misa itakuwa ikianza na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba eh, mwezi huu wa nane ni mwezi ambao una maana sana katika maisha yetu Kapuchin TV kutokana na kwamba miaka sita wiki mbili zijazo tutakuwa tukiadhimisha miaka sita tangu Mwenyezi Mungu alipotujalia neema hii ya kuinjili Tunawashukuru watazamaji wetu, wapenzi wetu, eh, washikadau na wahifa, eh, wafadhili wetu kwa kuendelea kushikilia kazi hii kwa michango oh, eh, ah, ah, kila aina. Tutakuwa na sherehe ya shukrani na, ah, na maombi tarehe ya 18 ya mwezi huu kwenye ukumbi wa kanisa kuu la Holy Family Bazilika na tutakuwa tukikujulisha kuhusu hayo ili wewe ambaye uko karibu unaweza kushiriki pamoja nasi Ijumaa tarehe ya 18 ya mwezi huu na hapo baadaye tutakujulisha tutakuwa tukiendeleaje na kazi zetu kama unavyoona ni kwamba uh, msafara ndio unaanza tunajitayarisha kuanza ibada ya misa tunakutakia wewe uh, utazamaji mwema tunamtolea Mwenyezi Mungu sala zetu maombi yetu na maombi ya wengi waliotuomba tuwakumbuke kwenye sala zetu 
Kumbuka tuko kwenye dekania ya mama yetu Bikira Maria Mfalme wa Bingu na Nchi eneo la Ruiru ambapo ni siku ya kifamilia ya dekania hii. Tunakutakia uh, utazamaji mwema na tunamjalia uh, kila mmoja wetu uh, uh, ma, maombi yake Mungu asikilize. Kiongozi wa ibada mhashamu askofu Daudi Kamau askofu msaidizi kwenye jimbo hii ku la Nairobi. Mungu akubariki na kukulinda endelea kufuatilia matangazo yetu katika misa ya leo.
tuketi kidogo Ningetaka kushukua nafasi hii kumwalika Reverend Father John Muhindi ambaye ndiye Father Dean wa wa Dinari of Ruiru ili atukaribishe hapa kwa Dinari yetu. Karibu Father. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good all the time. And all the time. Your Lordship, Bishop David Kamau, the Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, Mapadre Wenzangu, Mashemasi, Watawa Wakike Nakiume, Wakristo Wapendwa, Tumsifi Yesu Kristo. Nachukua hii nafasi kwa niaba yangu, kwa niaba ya mapadri na wakristu wote ili niweze kumkaribisha baba askofu ambaye ametuenzi sana leo hii ili atuongoze kwa ibada takatifu ya misa tunaposherekea sikukuu yetu ya family day ya Roiro our lady of heaven and earth pia nachukua hii nafasi kuwakaribisheni wote wa Kristo wapendwa katika hii sherehe kuu ya kukumbuka na kusherekea familia yetu tukisherekea servant leadership baba askofu karibu sana utuongoze kwa ibada ya misa tumkaribisha kwa makofi tafadhali Asanti, asanti sana. Kwa jina la Baba na la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amina. Neema ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu na upendo wa Mungu Baba na ushika wa Mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote. Na sasa ndugu zangu tukidhabi zetu ili tupate kustahidishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo matakatifu. Na muungamia Mungu Mwenyezi, ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno maneno kwa matendo na kutumiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana kuomba na mwenyewe bikira daima malaika na watakatifu wote na ndugu zangu niombee kwa bwana Mungu mwenyezi atumie sababu za mizetu atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele amina
Fanya muzazi wa mwanao awe mama na malikia wetu uweladi tujalia ili kwa kutengenezwa na maombezi yake tufikie utukufu wa wanao katika ufalme wa mbinguni naomba tunaomba kwa ajili ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutana naye katika moyo mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele
mketi na tuturie Ni wakati wa kusikiliza neno la Mungu. Kwa hivyo tunaomba tutulie na tusikilize neno la Mungu. Karibuni. Somo la kwanza. Somo katika kitabu cha nabii Isaya. Kabila lililotembea gizani limeliona nuzu nuru kuu. Nao walikaa katika nchi ya kivuli cha mauti, mwanga umewaangazia. Umezidisha furaha yao na umeongeza shangwe zao. Wanashangilia mbele yako kama wanavyoshangilia wavunaji, kama wanavyofurahi wenye kugawanya mateka. Kwa maana mzigo uliowelemea na gongo juu ya mabega yao na fimbo ya wakandamizaji wao umevunja vunja kama siku ile ya kushindwa kwa midiani viatu vyote vya askari vyenye kukanyaga nchi magoti yao yenye kuchafuka kwa damu yameteketezwa yamechomwa motoni maana mtoto amezaliwa kwetu mwana ametolewa kwetu alama ya uwezo mabegani pake ameitwa jina lake mshauri mwenye hekma mungu hodari baba wa milele mfalme wa amani uwezo wake utaenea Amani haitakuwa na mwisho katika kiti cha enzi cha Daudi na katika ufalme wake. Nao utasimika imara juu ya haki na uadilifu tangu sasa na kwa siku zote. Ndio yatakayotendeka kwa mapendo ya Bwana wa majeshi. Neno la Bwana. Wimbo wa katikati Jina la Bwana litukuzwe hata milele. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe hata milele. Na tutaimba. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe hata milele. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe hata milele. <coughs>
Atukuzwe Mungu, Baba wa Bwana yetu Yesu Kristo. Yeye atubariki katika Kristo. Kwa baraka zote za mbinguni zitokazo kwa Kristo, kwa Roho Mtakatifu. Katika yeye tume kabla ya kuwekwa misingi, katika yeye ametuchagua kabla ya kuweka katika misingi kuweka misingi ya ulimwengu kusudi kuwa watakatifu bila ndoa mbele yake katika upendo toka mwanzo aliazimia kufunga wa, kutufanya watoto wake kwa ajili yetu Yesu ya Yesu Kristu kama alivyotaka kwa mapenzi yake Kusu, kusudi tuisifu na kuitukuza neema yake aliyotuajilia katika huyo mpendwa kwake yeye sisi tumekuwa waridhi wake kwa haki tumechaguliwa tangu mwanzo kama alivyokusudi yeye afanyaye yote kwa anavyo mapenzi yake na anavyotaka afanyaye yote kama anavyotaka kwa ma ndio tumechaguliwa toka mwanzo kuweka matumaini kuweka matumaini yetu kwake Kristo na hivyo wapo kwa sifa na utukufu wake neno la Bwana tusimame kwa shangilio la njili
mtakatifu ilivyoandikwa na Yohane. Ilikuwa kabla ya siku kuu ya Pasaka Yesu alijua ya kuwa saa yake imewadia na kuondoka uli, ya kuondoka ulimwenguni hapa kwenda kwa baba naye kwa kuwa aliwapenda watu wake waliopo ulimwenguni aliwapenda mpaka mwisho hata wakati wa chakula cha jioni naye shetani amekwisha kumtumia Yuda mwana wa Simoni Iskarioti nia ya kumsaliti Yesu hali akijua ya kuwa baba ameweka vitu vyote mikononi mwake na ya kuwa ametoka kwa Mungu na anakwenda kwa Mungu aliinuka kutoka mezani akaweka kanzu yake kando akachukua kitabaa cha kitani akajifunga kiunoni kisha akatia maji katika chombo akaanza kuiosha miguu ya wafuasi na kuifuta, na kuifuta kwa kitamba alichojifunga alipokuja kwa Simoni Petro huyo akamwambia Mbwana wewe wataka kuniosha mimi miguu Yesu akajibu akamwambia Sasa huelewi nifanyalo lakini baadaye utanifahamu Petro akamwambia wewe hutaniosha miguu mimi hata kidogo Yesu akamjibu nishipokuosha huna shirika nami Simoni Petro akamwambia Simoni Simoni Petro akamwambia Bwana si miguu yangu tu hata na mikono na kichwa Yesu akamwambia aliyekuishaoga ana haja kunawa isipokuwa miguu bali usafi mwili wote nanyi mmekuwa safi lakini si nyote kwa maana alimjua atakaye msaliti ndio maana alisema si nyote mlio safi baada ya kuwaosha miguu alivaa tena nguo zake akaketi mezani akawaambia je umeelewa hayo niliyowatendea mwaniita mwalimu na bwana tena kwa haki maana ni hivyo basi kama mimi nilie bwana na mwalimu nimewaosha miguu imewapasa ninyi pia kuosha na miguu kwa maana nimewapa mfano ili nanyi mtende kama mimi nilivyo watendea ijili ya bwana Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Na kila wakati. Mungu ni mwema. Nisoma hii magazini nimeshika mikononi. Nimeona imeandikwa presided by his grace Archbishop Philip Nyoro. Kwa hiyo begine wale hawajui Archbishop wanaweza kusema mimi ndiye Archbishop. Kwa hivyo ningetaka kuhakikisha mimi si ya kibishop eh? Lakini hata nikiulizwa ni ya kibishop naweza kubali. Lakini kwa sasa mimi si ye. Mimi si ya kibishop mkuu mimi msaidizi wake. Kwa hiyo wale hawamjui msiende mkisema ati alikuwa hapo eh? Basi wa Kristo wa pensi kwanza ningetaka kuwatakia heri na baraka siku ya leo mnaposherekea dinali family de uh, our lady queen of heaven and earth queenship of mary 
Najua sasa Mary huko mbinguni atapata uzindizi. Akijua kwamba leo ni umeshekea siku yake. Basi ikiwa ni siku ya family day ya dina lena pia kuna viongozi wale walikuwa wa zamani na sasa wale wapya the change of god ni kweli eh? eh wale wa sasa walichaguliwa watu wachukua sasa mamlaka eh? na wale kwa zamani watana na kazi natakuwa lakini watakuwa consultants eh ndio walikuwa walikuwa wakisaidia wa wengine basi family D maisha ya familia ni muhimu sana na kama tujua sisi wote tumetoka kwa family si zote tumezaliwa katika family na kwa hivyo family huanza hapo nyumbani baba mama na watoto na kutoka hapo tunaenda jumuiya jumuiya tunaishi kama familia alafu parokia kama familia na sasa dinali tunayo family di na pia tarehe kumi na bidi kumi na bidi sivyo eh sisi tuna family day ya au msahau msiwe sherehe sasa ya leo ya dinali msahau kuna family day ya jimbo eh na kwa hivyo tunaweza kujikumbusha maana ya jina family kwa sababu tunaitumia katika nyumbani uh, katika jumuiya parokia dinali na sasa katika jimbo lakini ukiulizwa ni family gani unazaliganisha na family zetu the family that's perfect unaweza kuweza unaweza sema hii family na sasa nataka kuchukua kama mfano wa kuiga kwa familia yangu ni family gani eh yeah. yesu maria na lakini zaidi ya hiyo kuna family nyingine unaweza linganisha kwa sababu maria na yosefu walikuwa binadamu eh yeah. hata yesu alikuwa binadamu Mungu mtu na binadamu kwa hivyo pengine kulikuwa na shida katika hii familia je kama unajua kulikuwa na shida eh? Eh, kulikuwa na shida kwanza kulikuwa shida moja eh? katika hii familia Yesu Maria na Joseph ndio kujua ni shida gani sasa kuna siku moja Yesu akiwa mtoto mdogo walikuwa wakicheza na watoto na watoto wengine mtoto mmoja ata akaangua kutoka kwa juu ya ya, ya 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 nyumba akafa wakasema ni, ni mtoto wa Yesu Maria na Josefu ndio mtoto wa Maria na Yosefu ndio aliwa huo mtoto na kwa ukana na kesi katika village wazee wakasema akutana akasema hatujui hatujui tutafanya na nini na hii familia hii familia ya Joseph na Maria wakawa na mkutano na hapo ndipo Yesu akiwa mtoto alitumia umungu wake akamwambia msema ni mimi ni mabu nimemuua ni wewe tulikuona sasa akaambia mtoto wewe mtoto amuka sasa useme ni nani alikuwa mtoto akaamuka kulikuwa na shida hiyo ilikuwa shida ya familia eh? kwa hivyo katika familia mseme ati hakukuwa na funa na shida kwa zaidi kwa familia ya binadamu eh? lakini ukisoma katika injili ya Yohane mwisho wa injili inasema kuna mambo mengi sana ilifanyika na Kristo lakini haikuandikwa katika hiyo kitabu usiende kutafuta ni wapi sasa eh? <laughs> kwa hivyo kuliko lakini ni family swali nauliza ni familia gani unaweza kusema hakuwa na shida ni familia moja Trinity utatu mtakatifu Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana na Mungu Roho mtakatifu. Hiyo ndio familia ya kwanza. Hiyo ndio familia ya kwanza ya Trinity. Na sisi wote ni matunda 
ni matokeo ya utatu utatu katifu basi tukiangalia katika hii familia kwa hapo ndipo tunaweza kusema familia halisi familia halisi kabisa ni ya trinity waliishi namna gani ni familia ilikuwa ikiishi kwa upendo ukisoma katika injili mara nyingi kristo alisema mimi nafanya kazi ya baba yangu ilikuwa familia ya kushauriana dialogue ilikuwa familia hasa ya upendo Mungu baba Mungu mwana waliunganishwa na upendo wa Roho Mtakatifu na kwa hivyo basi hiyo ndio familia nataka kusema ni familia halisi kabisa na sisi wote ni matunda ya familia ya utatu mtakatifu lakini tukichukua hasa upendo kwa sababu upendo ndio ndio muhimu sana kwani ukisoma katika injili ya Yohane nasema Mungu alipenda ulimwengu sana mpaka akamtuma mwanae wa pekee upendo ni muhimu sana katika familia familia ya nyumbani familia ya jumuiya familia ya dinali na jimbo na kwa hivyo familia zetu must always be founded and based on trinity kama ni familia ya dinali dinali is dinali based on the family of trinity ambao kuna upendo upendo ni muhimu sana kuna wakati ambapo wakati wa vita vita ya Vietnam vita ya Vietnam kuna huu missionary moja jina lake alikuwa anaitwa Robert Robert kazi yake katika hiyo vita aliona kazi muhimu angeza kufanya ni kusaidia watoto kwa hivyo alikuwa anabeba anabeba anachukua chocolates biscuits na sweets lakini watoto sasa yule anachukua anawapatia sweet hayuko sasa msiniuliza sweet sasa sina eh babu hayuko sasa eh msiniuliza sweet eh na huyo robert alikuwa anawapatia watoto biscuits sweet chocolates lakini alipokuwa akiwapatia pale kwa kona kulikuwa na msichana msichana alikuwa na husuni alikuwa na husuni alikuwa na husunika hakuwa na furaha kidogo na yeye robert akaenda akamuliza sasa young lady what can i do for you naweza kukusaidia usio umekasirika naye akamwambia Robert mimi stack chocolates mimi stack biscuits mimi stack sweets na nataka kitu moja nini mwanangu nataka unipende nataka ufanye nini unipende na Robert alipomwosha alipomwonyesha huyo mtoto upendo basi akachamka akaka na furaha basi hiyo ndio tunatafuta katika familia mzee mama hataki chocolate na sweets hataki hata pesa zako lakini nataka nini umpende umpende tukiwa na upendo katika familia katika parokia katika dinari basi tutajisikia tuta nyumbani kwa hivyo siku ya leo dini wale family dini kama watu wa familia ya dini sasa tunaweza jenga hii dini based on the family of trinity ambapo kuna upendo kushauriana hakuna mtu atakuwa akaogea juu ya nyuma ya mwingine sisi tunapenda tunapenda hivyo eh? Eh, tunapenda kuongea juma ya wengi ya wengine hakuna familia hapo basi tuamue sasa katika hii dini ya family di tutakuwa na huo upendo. Pengine huko upati upendo huko nje. Lakini ukija katika fame, katika dinari ujua wewe unakuwa mwana mpendwa.
kwasau unapendwa na wakona kwa jia hiyo basi hata utapata usingizi basi katika jumuiya yote ya binadamu jumuiya in human society lazima kuwe na viongozi hakuna jumuiya haina ka, ha, hakuna hakuna jumuiya ya binadamu ambayo haina nini uongozi hiyo ndio maana yake katika jimbo katika universal church tunabaa mtakatifu katika jimbo tuna askofu katika dinari tunaye dini hapa katika paroki tuna padri tuna viongozi lazima kuwe na viongozi to keep the order na hiyo ndio maana tunaweza tuna tunaweza tunawashukuru tuna sasa viongozi wale hapo walikuwa wakitumika those who are hiding of a power i'm sure you have done your best ni kweli eh yeah i'm sure mu mlipatiwa kazi mkafanya kazi na sasa lazima kuwa, kuwa tayari kusema sasa sasa tunapatia wengi wengine basi wale ambao walikuwa viongozi tunataka kuwaombea sasa na kuwashukuru kwa kazi umefanya na njia Mungu akikuwa katika hii dunia anakuweka hii dunia sio kwa bahati baya hakuna mtu amezaliwa hapa kwa bahati hata ingawa mara kwa mara akina mama lakini wazee sio sana lakini akina mama husema huyo mtoto tulipata vizuri huwa pili vizuri huwa tatu vizuri lakini huwa ine ah hatuko hakuwa katika mpango hakuwa katika mpango alikuwa nini alikuwa bahati ba hakuna mtu alikuwa na ba, ba, bahati baya ni mpango wa Mwenyezi <laughs> usiende za ukisema huyu atini alikuja kwa bahati baya hakuwa katika kama hakuwa katika mpango wako alikuwa katika mpango wa nani wa Mungu na kwa hivyo Mungu akikuleta katika ulimwengu alikuleta na kupatia kazi ya kufanya hiyo nataka kusema kila mmoja wetu ana kazi ya kufanya na ni jukumu la kila mmoja wetu kuuliza ni kazi gani Mungu anataka nimfanyie nimfanyie eh kama sasa wa kuimba Mungu anataka mfanye nini umuimbie na sasa kama wewe utamuimbia na ukupatia kipawa cha kuiba ataibiwa na nani na sasa na tunasikia katika Biblia tukitaka kutukataa kumwimbia wewe umpatiwa kipawa ya kuimba mimi sina eh wanajua wengine wetu kiimba unasikia kama mtu anapiga debe unajua anasema nini lakini nyumba kipaji cha kuimba ukitaka kukataa kuimba anasema ni nani atawamwimbia na wewe sasa utafuta mahali ya kwenda kwa sababu yeye amekupatia kipaji ya kuimba umekataa anaibiwa na mawe na wewe ufanye nini utafute mahali ya kwenda kwa hivyo nataka kusema kila mmoja wetu kuna kazi Mungu anataka umfanyi. Vivyo hivyo katika kanisa. Katika hata kanisa ukisoma katika kitabu ya mitume utasikia kuna watu walikuwa wengine walikuwa wakihudumu, wengine walikuwa wakisoma, wengine wakiruwa akifafanua masomo, wengine walikuwa wakisaidia a Uh, widows na nao wengine hao ni nani mashamasi kwa hivyo kulikuwa na mpango kila mtu alikuwa na kazi ya kufa ya kufanya vivyo hivyo hata sasa kila mmoja wetu ana kazi ya kufanya kwa hivyo kama ni kiongozi wewe umpatie hiyo kazi hiyo kazi ya kuongoza ufanye vizuri na ukisema hutafanya hutakuwa mwaminifu ni nani atafanya kwa hivyo tukitaka kuwashukuru wale kwa viongozi kwa sababu tunajua ukiangalia hata vile watu wamekuja mimi nimeshangaa nime, nime sana watu ni wengi sana eh. kwa hivyo eh mumefanya kazi yenu na sasa viongozi wa wengine sasa nanyi mchukue ka kazi eh basi wakati wenu ukifika mtapatia wengi na wakati wangu ukifika hata mimi nitapatia mtu mwingine iko fear na bokora eh 
eh, sita kuwa nao milele na milele eh. Nitapatia mtu mwingine Kwa hivyo mungu anatupatia kazi Na tufanya hiyo kazi vizuri Na hapo ndipo tunaweza kupata furaha Na baraka kwa kufanya kazi Mungu ametupatia ametupatia Lakini katika jumuiya ya kristu Kundi la kristu Uongozi Nwa ina gani? Uongozi nwa ina gani? Uongozi Ukiwana kristu musarabani Kiongozi kristu Kukumangalia musarabani Inyonekana kama alishidwa kabisa nikatika, Na nikatika kule kushindwa Alikuwa mushindi Musarabani Na manisha Uongozi katika kanisa is the other way around. Ni utumishi. Ni utumishi. Na tumpatua mufano na somo la leo kristu mwenyewe. Akiwa mutubishi. Lakini kuwa mutumishi ni kufanya nini? Ni kubeba musara. Ujue ukuya kiongozi as katika kanisa ni, ni musaraba unachukua. Unabe musaraba. Kwa hivyo wana sasa wana, 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 wana watakuwa viongozi sasa ni makaribisha katika musaraba kubwa musaraba. Ni makaribisha kubeba musaraba. Kwa sababu ni kubeba nini? Ni kubeba musaraba. Lakini huu kubeba musaraba siyo watu wengi wanataka wana, wana kubeba musaraba. Huo utumishi siyo watu wengi. Na siyo watu wengi lakini hata mituma wa kristu Walikuwa na shida sana kukubali musaraba. Tukiangalia tabia za hawa mitume. Yesu Kristu likuwa kia wafundisha. Yeyote antha kunifuata. Basi asukue musaraba wake afaja nini? Anifuate. Na okisoma injiri vizuri, utasikia mara kwa mara. Ata, alikuwa mara tatu na mara mingi alikuwa kisema lazima mtu wa bea musaraba lakini haipo kuwa hake wafundisha siku moja alikuwa anafundisha kwa sababu yako hakuwa na classroom eh? walikuwa kitembea ya alikuwa mbele na wawo nyuma anawambia saas jameni mbea misaraba yenu lakini walipo fika nyumba mahali walikuwa wanaenda akawuriza Yamae. Na nilipo kuwa nikiwa afundisha juu ya msalaba Ni inji mulikuwa mkijadidiana Mambo gani? Jambo gani? Iji inasema Wote walika kimia Hakuna mtu waliongea Kwa nini? Kwa sababu Yesu Kristu anawafundisha Juu ya utumishi Juu ya kubia msalaba Nao walikuwa kiongea juu ya dani Ni nani? Ni nani atakai, muku, atakai kuwa mkubwa Atawale wengine Akalie wengine Na hapo dipo Yesu Alita mtoto Haka muambia sasa Haka muambia munao na mtoto Yuri atataka ku, 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 kuwa mkubwa Lazima Ajinyekeze Kama nani? Kama mtoto Basi kukagalia katika tabia sahao mitume Mtume wa kwanza Yuri ali, alikuwa Alikuwa moderita Aho wengine ni nani? Nani alikuwa moderita? Petro. Petro di alikuwa moderator. Na akiwa moderator, aliwabia nini? Musi, musi ulizana ni nanda atakuwa mkubwa. Si munajua ni ipatikuwa funguo. Iko mkono ni mwa, iko mwa kwa mfuko. Kama hauta mpiga magoti, mutintambue mimi ni nani? Ha, nita wafungia ije. Kwa sababu ni nani ni nina? Ufunguo. Na ya mwingine akajitokeza, Mwambi ya Petru, usahau mamba ya funguo. Utaona katika karamu ya mwisho, utaniuliza ni nani ya tabusaliti kwa sababu ni mi, mi, ndiye mwana mpendwa. Huyo ni nani? Yohane, Yohane ijini ya sema na yalikuwa anapendwa sana. Kwa hivi ya kamwambia Petru, sasa wakatu kifika, nina atachukua mamlaka, mkubwa, hata uliza ni nani uyula amepatia funguo, lakini mwana mpendwa. Na sasa ni mita kuwa mkubwa. Wewe sasa, kama hunta nitambua, wakati utaniona. 
Alafu kukatokeza, mgini wakatokeza. Philip. Anjua Philip. Wakati Kristo aliwapatia watu. Elfu ngapi? Elfu tano. Hakapatia mikati na samaki. Walikuwa elfu tano bila kuhesabu nana nani? Kwa nini? Ah, sasa hii. <laughs> sasa, Philip, yesu alikuwa memuliza Philip. Na Philip, tutafanya nini? Kutoka hapo, Philip, akasema yeye, kwa sababu aliulizwa swali, tutafanya nini? Akasema ye, die chief advisor wa mkubwa. Kwa hivu wakamabia Petro, we fungua ya siyo kitu. Yohana kupedwa siyo kitu. Lakini chief advisor ni mimi. Kwa hivu mimi die itakuwa, na halikuwa kipigana wakati huo. Basi kutokea mwingine. Mwambia Petro, Yohane, Philip, hiyo upuzi wenu muache sasa. Katika ulimwengu huu, katika kila jumuia ni nani mkubwa? Mnajua nani mkubwa? Ha? Na akamwambia kama hamuta nitambua mimi, jioni hamuta kula, hamuta kula ugali na samaki. Kwa sababu sitanunua. Huyo ni nani? Ha? Judas ndiye alikuwa anabeba mfuko wa pesa treasurer eh treasurer ndiye alisema mimi za nini ya pesa kwa hivyo nataka kusema wote walikuwa na wakati huo kumbuke Yesu Kristo alikuwa anafundisha juu ya nini ya msalaba na hao wanapigania ni nani atakayekuwa nani mkubwa basi uongozi katika jumuiya ya Kristo ni kubeba nini ni kubeba msalaba lakini tukiangalia sasa hii kundi la Kristo wakati walipokea roho mtakatifu wakati walipokea roho mtakatifu ule msalaba walikuwa akiogopa karibu wote walikufa msalabani Modereta alikufa msalabani wote kwa sababu walikuwa na nguvu na uwezo wa roho wa roho mtakatifu na walipokuwa pokea roho mtakatifu walikuwa pamoja na nani na mama Maria na mama Maria na kwa hivyo ni kwa sababu ya uwezo wa roho mtakatifu nguvu kutoka juu Mwolo mtakari wa Esesha kutimiza ile kazi alikuwa mpatiwa na Kristo. Na kwa hivyo wa Kristo wa penzi tunahitaji roho mtakatifu. Tunahitaji kuwa pamoja na Mungu. Ukiulizwa kitu muhimu sana Kristo alikufanyia alimfanyia katika maisha yetu alitufanyia ni nini sio miujiza lakini kitu muhimu alitufanyia alituonyesha njia ya kwenda kwa Mungu alituonyesha maisha ya Mungu alitupatia Mungu ambaye tunatafuta kila wakati kwa sababu kila mmoja wetu anatafuta Mungu na hata ninyi mmekuja hapa kwa sababu mnataka mnataka kukumuona nani Mungu tunataka kuwa pamoja na Mungu. Najua hata wameenda shakahora wa, wanatafuta Mungu. E, wanatafuta Mungu. <laughs> Hakuna kile wanatafuta Mungu wanatafuta lakini njia <laughs> ukafuata njia ingine. Kwa hivyo hata sisi wote tumekuja hapa kwa sababu tunataka maisha ya Mungu kwa sababu hapo ndipo uhai mwanga wa maisha yetu mwelekeo hapo ndipo matumaini yetu basi mitume wakiwa viongozi wa kwanza wa kanisa walitimiza kazi yao wajibu wao kwa sababu walikuwa na uwezo na nguvu ya roho mtakatifu na kwa hivyo basi lazima hata sisi tuombe roho mtakatifu katika maisha yetu kutoka familia bila Mungu bila Mungu hatuweza hata kuweka familia zetu 
hatuwezi kuweka boma familia unajua mnaweza kuwa mnakaa pamoja lakini hakuna familia e, mnaonekana tu ni familia lakini ilikufa ilikufa kwa sababu mnaishi kama boarding na lodging watu wanaenda warana asubuhi wanaondoka hakuna kupendana hakuna kushauriana ni boarding na lodging eh? kwa hivyo hapo ndipo tunahitaji sasa roho wa Mwenyezi Mungu tunahitaji roho mtakatifu kwa hivyo kutoka familia mpaka jibo mtaka mpaka kanisa nzima ya ulimwengu tunahitaji roho mtakatifu lakini tunawasherekea our the queen of heaven and earth the queenship of mary mary ana nguvu kwani ni yeye na njia pekee alikuwa amejazwa roho mtakatifu na tukipitia kwa bikira maria atatuombea atakuwa wakili wetu she is our advocate kwa hivyo katika maisha yetu ya kifamilia ya binafsi binaf, tumutabue bikira maria maria katika historia ya kanisa hakuna yeyote alipitia kwa bikira Maria nje ya rusali akapoteza imani kuna kunaweza kuwa na msukasuko waoka hapa na pale lakini tukishika bikira Maria vizuri hata familia zetu itakuwa sawa kwa hivyo tusichukue siku kuu ya bikira maria alede queen of queen she for mary kama jambo la kawaida tumweke bikira maria mbele ya macho yetu tumwambie ampelekee mwanae mwanae shida zetu matatizo yetu unajua mama ni muhimu sana kwa mtoto mama ndiye anajua uchungu wa mwana ni kweli mama sema ndio kwa sababu ni ukweli eh wa mzee <laughs> unafanya una kazi kweli lakini mama mama kwa sababu damu ya mtoto mwili wa mtoto kila kitu kinatoka kwa nani kwa mama ukiulizwa au ambiwe ungetaka mama wako ayo aina gani unaweza kusema awe perfect kuliko wengine kwa sababu ya ya, ya uh, vile mmeshi, mwana na, na mama wameshika wameshukana ni ni vizuri ni ni kweli mzee eh? nikwambie mzee hivi eh hata kwa kufa, mtoto akitaka kitu kwanza anaenda kwa nani na mama sasa anaenda kwa mzee kwa sababu mzee anaweza kuwa mkali kidogo eh anapitia hapo na mama ana, anajua kuongea na mzee msaidie mtoto hivi na hivi eh lakini hao watoto wakiwa watu wazima wakijaliwa kukiwa na kazi na wewe mzee unataka kitu usipopitia kwa mama ile njia hutapata hutapata ni kweli mama eh Hutapata mama ana 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 uwezo wake wa kusema hutapata na hutapata hutapata kwa hivyo angalia baba vizuri eh jia mtoto alipitia na wewe utapita jia ya mama kwa hivyo tukipitia kwa mama bikira maria kwa mama bikira maria tukipata tuk, kama unataka kitu kwa Yesu Kristo kweli unaweza kwenda direct upate lakini ukipitia kwa mama maria utapata rahisi utapata rahisi. Kwa hivyo kwa kuweka familia zetu basi tuchukue Bikira Maria kwa uzito. Kusali usali. lazima kila familia kwa family rosary. Family rosary ni muhimu sana. Kama tutaweka familia zetu, kama tutaweka hata parokia yetu. Naona hata pale kuna gruto ya Bikira Maria. Kwa hivyo Siku ya leo tutamshekea family day. Ah uh, tuombe viongozi wetu wasiogope msalaba.
Washukiwe na Roho Mtakatifu. Tuombe familia zetu na tupitie kwa Bikira Maria. Maria. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. baada ya kusikiliza homilia takatifu kutoka kwa baba askofu tutulie kidogo ili tuweze kutafakari juu ya hayo maneno mazuri ya kutupatia nguvu na mawaidha kutoka kwa baba askofu Sasa tutasimama wote ili tuweze kuungama imani yetu tukiongozwa na baba askofu Na sadi kwa Mungu mmoja baba mwenyezi muumba bingu la dunia na vitu vyote vianekana na vizionekana na sadi kwa bwana mmoja Yesu Kristo mwana wa pekee wa Mungu aliyezaliwa kwa baba tangu milele yote Mungu aliyetoa kwa Mungu Mungu kwanza Mungu kweli kwa Mungu kweli aliyezaliwa bila kuumbwa mwenye umu mmoja na baba ambaye vitu vyote vimembwa naye alishuka toka mbinguni kwa ajili yetu sisi wanadamu na kwa ajili ya wokovu wetu akapata mwili kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu wake Yebi Maria akawa mwanadamu akazuliwa kwa ajili yetu sisi kwa mamlaka ya Pontius Pilato akateswa akafa akasikwa siku ya tatu akafuka kadiri ya maandiko akapaa biguni amekaa kwa kwamba atakuja tena kwa utukufu kwa kumwa wazima na wafu kwa ufanya wake atakuwa na mwisho na sadiki kwa Roho Mtakatifu kwa namna ya uzima atokae kwa baba na mwana anayebudiwa na kutukuzwa kwa mwana na baba na mwana aliyenena kwa vita vya manabii na sadiki kwa kanisa moja takatifu katoliki wa vitume na ugoma wa kanisa moja kwa madhara ya nani na gojana na usimu mbele ya Yahweh tukiwa tumesimama tu hivyo sasa ni wakati wa sala za waamini na wale ambao wameteuliwa kuongoza sala za waamini wajongee hapa mbele. Kuna Luiza Mburu ataombea familia. Francis Duva ataombea mama kanisa. Hana Wanjiru ataombea nchi yetu. Dr. Gabriel Okelo ataombea viongozi tutaongozwa na baba askofu tumekutana hapa tutafakari tumekutana hapa kutafakari fadhili aliyotujalia Mungu wetu tumuombe ili apende kusikiliza kwa huruma sala zetu Let's pray for the church. Our heavenly Father and our God, we humble ourselves before you this morning as we commit the church unto you. We pray that you bless the clergy and all church leaders at all levels. Give them wisdom and sufficient grace to lead your congregation and church. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for the family. Loving God, we pray for all families around the world. Bless all parents with wisdom and patience. Help them to be role models of love and faith of, for their children, granting them the grace to nature and guide their children in ways of goodness and righteousness. Heavenly Father, we entrust the children and youth of the world to, to your care. Protect them from harm and danger and guide them as they grow, particularly those facing challenges or difficult circumstances. May they find joy in learning about their Catholic faith and be filled with a sense of purpose and hope. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for the 
Let us pray for our country. Lord, we thank you for the gift of our country, Kenya. We thank you for the richness and diversity of resources, both physical and human, that we enjoy. We thank you also for the freedoms that we enjoy as citizens. We pray, Lord, that you may fill our leaders with wisdom to lead us into prosperity. We pray that we, the citizens, may be responsible in exercising our rights. We pray overall for peace and harmony among all of us. Lord, hear us. Let's pray for our leaders. Lord, we thank you for the gift of leadership you have given us. We bring to you all leaders in their various capacities in the church. We pray that you may fill them with wisdom, diligence, as they carry out their duties. Lord, we pray that you grant them the grace as they sacrifice themselves, time, and other resources for your service. Lord, hear us. Ebana usikubalike macho ni pako dua sa kanisa lako liombalo kwa unyenyekefu ili tujaliwe kwa huruma yako yale ambayo hatuwezi kupata kwa mastahili yetu kwa jia ya Kristu bana wetu Amina. sasa tuketi na ni wakati wa sadaka wale ambao watatusaidia kwa shughuli hii ya sadaka ni akina mama wa CWA wa parokia ya mtakatifu Petero Kwehota wale ambao watakuwa kwenye msafara wale ambao watakuwa kwenye msafara ni PMC YSC C YSC na watu watatu kulingana na vile wamepangwa kutoka parokia zetu kwa hivyo tuanze kujipanga watu kutoka parokia watu watu numa
Sendo saka yangu na yeye nikubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Na pia kwa mafaili na mafaili tuna kutolea vipaji vyetu tukiadhimisha kubukubu ya Bikira Maria mtakatifu na kuomba ili tupate kusaidiwa na ubidanamu wa Yesu aliyetoa mwenyewe kwa kwa msalabani kama sadaka isiyo na ndoa anaeishi na kutawala daima na milele. Amina. Bana awe nanyi. Amen. Inweni mioyo. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vema na haki tedo la kufa na la kuleta wokofu. Tukushukuru wewe daima upote. E bana baba ulio mtakatifu Mungu Mwenyezi wa milele na kukusifu kukuwa kukuhimidi na kukutukuza wewe katika adhimisho la siku ya Maria mwenye heri bikira daima yeye alimchukua miba mwanao pekee hapo roho mtakatifu alipomfunika kwa kifuri chako na pasipo kupoteza utukufu wa ubikira wake aliuzalia ali ulimwengu mwanga wa milele Yesu Kristu bwana wetu kwa jia yake malaika husifu adhama yako enzi hukuabudu na mamlaka kukupigia mago hukupigia magoti wakitemeka bingu na, na nguvu za binguni na waselafi wenye heri wa kuadhimisha pamoja kwa shangwe tunakusihi tujalie tujiunge nao kwa wimbo wa sifa tukisema kwa sauti ya unyenyekevu Ebana kweli umtakatifu na kila kiumbe kilicho manaye kinakusifu kwa haki maana kwa jia mwana wa bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na kwa uwezo tedaji wa mtakatifu unavitia uzima vitu vyote na kuvitakatifunza wala huachi kukusanya watu kwako ili toka mawe ya hata machio yake ya bihusafi itolewe kwa jina lako basi ebana utakusihi kwa nyenyekevu vipaji hivi ambavyo tumekutolea ili vitakaze upende kutakatifuza kwa roho huyo huyo ili viwe mwili na damu ya mwana bwana wetu Yesu Kristo aliyetoa mwili tuadhimishe mafumbo haya maana yeye mwenyewe usiku ulipotolewa aitoa mkate na akikushukuru aliubariki akaumega na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akitoa kikombe na kushukuru alikibariki 
na akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mwenye nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya agano jipya na la milele itakayomweka kwa ajili na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa mando ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu Fumbo la imani Kwa hiyo e bana tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa mateso ya mwanao yaletoa wokofu pamoja na mfuko wake wa ajabu na kupaa kwake biguni tunapoutazamia ujio wake wa pili tunakutaka kwa shukrani sadaka iliyo hai na takatifu unakuomba uiangalie matoleo ya kanisa lako na kumtambua yeye aliye kafala ambaye ulitaka kutulizwa kwa sadaka kifo chake tujalie sisi Tunaoti nguvu kwa mwili na damu ya mwanao na kujaswa na roho wake mtakatifu tupate kuwa mwili mmoja na roho moja katika Kristo. Yeye atufanye sisi tuwe kwako sadaka timilifu ya milele ili tuweze kupata urithi pamoja na wateule wako kwanza kabisa pamoja na bikira Maria mwenye heri Mama wa Mungu na mtakatifu Yosefu mme wake huyo bikira na mitume wako wenye heri na mashahidi wako watukufu na watakatifu wote ambao tunategemea kupata daima msaada wa mombezi yao mbele zako Tunakuomba e Bwana we uliye kafala na upatanisho wetu Alete amani na wakofu duniani kote upete kuimbalisha katika imani na mapendo kanisa lako inaosafiri hapa duniani pamoja na mtumishi wako baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu moko Filipo Anyolo na msaidizi wake tunaye hapa Daudi Kamau pamoja na maaskofu wote wakirelo wote na watu wote wanaofanya kuwa taifa lako Usikirise kwa wema sala za jamaa hii uliyoita hapa mbele yako. E baba ulio mtakatifu kwa huluma yako wakusanye kwako wanao wote waliotawanyika popote duniani. Wapokee kwa wema katika ufalme wako. Dugu zetu marehemu na wote walioaga dunia wakiwa na kupedesa. Nasi tunatumaini kufikia katika ufalme huo ili pamoja tushibishwe milele kwa utukufu wako kwa ajili ya Kristo Bwana wetu ambao kwa ajili yake unatujalia ulimwengu mema yote kwa jia yake pamoja na ye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele kwa kulitia giza la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakao ufanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupeleo kati yetu kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu 
E bana tunakuomba tuomboe katika maovu yote. Tujalie kwa mama ni maisha ni mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako. Tuoprei daima na dhambi. Wala tusifadhaishwe na jabu lolote. Tumbo tazamia tumaini lenye heli na ujio mwokosi wetu Yesu Kristu. Ufani wako na uko na utukufu. E bana Yesu Kristu. Liwabia mitume wako ama ina wachieni. Amani yangu na wapa, nitazame dhabi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kala maarifu ya mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala milele na milele Amina. amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi iwe roho ni amani Tanzama mana kondo wa mungu, tanzama ando edha biza ulimuingu. Heri wali kwa kwenye karamu ya mwana kondo. Ebana sita inge kwangu, lakini sema nyenotu na loo yangu itakua. Sasa ni wakati wa komunio takatifu ambao watajongea ili waweze kupokea komunio takatifu Katoriki tu na wale ambao wamejitayarisha Asanti Mapadri ituko kwa hivyo tusiwe na shaka mapadri ni wengi watakaribi Watakuja.
Baada ya kupokea sakramenti ya ikaristia, tutulie kidogo, tuweze kutafakali juu ya kristu, tulie mpokea. Tutulie kidogo kwa kimia. Sasa tusimame sisi wote na kwa shangwe na vigelegele tukiongozwa na kwa ya yetu ni wakati wa shukurani. Wimbo wa shukurani. Pia tutaongozwa na awa PM, awa YSC na YCA kwa Thanksgiving song. Thank you. 
Asante tukiwa tumesimama hivyo na kwa utulivu sasa ni wakati wa sala baada ya komunio takatifu Tuombe E bana baada ya kupokea sakramenti ya, ya mbinguni tunakusi kwa nyenyekefu ili sisi tunao tunaofanya kubukumbu kwa heshima ya bekila ya mtakatifu tustahili kushiriki kalamu ya milele kwa jia ya Kristo bwana wetu Amen. Asante sana sasa tuketi Na kwa wakati huu nawaalika kwa wakati mfupi sana wakati wa entertainment na entertainment ya siku ya leo tunaongozwa na kina baba wa CMA Akina mam, akina baba wa CMA akina baba wa CMA ndio wanatuongoza kwa entertainment Naona wamejiandaa na wanaingia wanaingia wanakaribia. Karibuni sana kina baba. Baada ya kina baba tutakuwa na mazungumzo kwa jia ya kifupi sana tukiongozwa na Dinari Modarita. Baadaye tutakuwa na Father Dean, Father John Mohindi na baadaye tutakuwa na kupatiana cheti cha kuwapongeza dugu na dada zetu waliokuwa na tuongoza na baadaye tutaendelea na ratiba kama ilivyo uh, pangwa. Karibuni akina baba. Oh, shit. 
kiano kadika utume sidoni umoja ushirikiano kadika utume tunakuho Asante sana. Wakati huu nataka kumwalika Dinare Mondareta ili aweze pia kuzungumza na sisi. Kwa maz... Mwashamu baba askofu Daudi Kamau eh ndini wetu padre John Mwindi mapadre wote waliojiunga nasi katika sherehe hii masemasi watawa wa seminari waliopo makatikista Wa Kristu wate tumsifia so Kristu. God is good. And all the time. Wow. Nachukua nafasi hii. Kwa niaba ya viongozi wate walei. Kwa karibisha katika shere hii ya familia ya ndakoni yetu. Ya loiru. Kama wanandakania. Hii ni mmoja wa siku zile za furaha zaidi kwa sababu ni kongamano linalotupatia nafasi ya kukutanika na kujumuika pamoja kama taifa la Mungu na tukimshukuru Mungu kwa neema zake nyingi kwetu pia ni nafasi mwafaka ya kutafakari majukumu yetu yote ambayo tumekabidhiwa katika utume wa kanisa katoliki kauli mbiu ya sherehe ya leo ni uongozi wa utumishi yani servant leadership ya faa kabisa tukitilia manani ya kwamba katika kipindi cha miezi mitatu minne hivi mwaka huu wa 2023 tumekuwa katika zoezi la uchaguzi jizi wa viongozi wa kirei ilikuwa ni shughuli iliyotuhusisha sisi sote sana matunda yake ni ya kwamba Mungu ametujalia viongozi wapya ambao watahudumu wakishirikiana na kuunga mkono mapadre wetu katika kazi za kitume inatupasa si zote tulio sichaguliwa katika nafasi mbalimbali mbali. tukumbuke kila wakati majukumu ya kipekee tuliotwikwa kila wakati 
tafakari maneno ya kwamba mtu aliyekabidhiwa zaidi atadaiwa zaidi pia kitabu cha Luke eh, 12:48 Baba askofu leo pia tunawaenzi watangulizi wetu kwenye uongozi wa ndekania i wanaume kwa wanawake walioweka msingi thabiti wa ndekania hii ilipoanzishwa mwaka wa 2019 awa waliodumu awamu yao kwa uadilifu bidii na kujitolea shukrani kwa padre Peter Kiguru ndekona wa kwanza mwanzilishi daktari Patrick Mwalangu ambaye leo yuko nasi kwa sababu ya shughuli za zingine za familia ambaye alikuwa moderator mtangulizi wangu kamati tekelezi na viongozi wote waliohudumu katika baraza la kijungazi zi landekania kuanzia mwaka 2019 kufikia mapema mwaka huu tutazidi kuombea Mungu azidishie baraka na wafanikishie mipango yao yote kwetu sisi inatupasa sisi zote inatupasa tuzidi kumwangazia na kumtumainia Mwenyezi Mungu eh, ambaye Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mfano mkamilifu wa kiongozi mtumishi mtumishi tukitafakari na kujitolea katika majukumu yetu yote tukianzia katika familia tunaalikwa pia kutumia nafasi zile Mungu ametukabidi kushirikisha wenzetu upendo wa kweli huduma na ushauri mwema kwa moyo wa kisinodi tuwe na makusudio kila wakati ya kuhusisha kila mmoja wetu katika njamii zetu tuombe roho mtakatifu aendelee kutuongoza na kutushirikisha zawadi zake tumsifu Yesu Kristo tunaomba tuombe Maria mtakatifu malikia wa mbingu na nchi azidi kutuombea na endelee kuitunza ndekania yetu ya loilo na kabla sijaketi ningetaka ku e, watambulisha si zote viongozi ambao tuko hapa e, kwa kweli kama baba skofu alivyosema tuko wengi na tuna furaha ya kwamba tumefika si zote e, kuhudhuria sherehe hii kwa hivyo ningetaka tu nikiita parokia si zote tusimame wale wamefika tuko parokia tisa wakati huu na ningetaka nikiwaita tafadhali msimame mahala mko ndio tuweze kutambua uwepo wenu e, tuanze na parokia ambayo ni mama ya zote parokia ya mtakatifu Teresa Karimoni tafadhali tusimame viongozi wa Kristu ndio tuweze kutambua uwepo wenu tafadhali tuwapigie makofi alafu eh, parokia ya mtakatifu Francisco wa Asisi Loilo tafadhali tusimame ni wengi tuwapigie makofi kwa parokia ya mtakatifu Agostino eh, Juja tafadhali Baba Skofu hiyo ilikuwa parokia yangu tangu kufikia wiki mbili zilizopita kwa hivyo niko na najivunia na eh, parokia ya Saint ya mtakatifu Peter Kuyota ambao ni wenyeji tafadhali tuone kama mko wengi ama mlifika Mtakatifu Petro Kuyota hao ni wengi tuwapigie makofi Presentation of the Lord Judah Farm 
au anatoka mbali kidogo na unaona wamefika wakiwa wengi asanteni sana kwa kufika eh parokia ya mtakatifu Lucia eh membre tuwapigie makofi parokia ya mtakatifu Lucia parokia ya mtakatifu Christopher Kimbo majirani wa hapa tuwapigie makofi pia parokia ya Mele Makrit eh kumula ambao tuwapigie makofi alafu kuna parokia ambayo ni kitinda mimba parokia ya Divine Mercy uh, Divine Mercy parokia Divine Mercy tafadhali hiyo ndio parokia yangu mpya kwa hivyo eh, tunamshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu si zote tumefika eh, kuhudhuria sherehe hii eh, sidhani nadhania nimetambua kila parokia eh, kwa hivyo tukifikia hapo pia niajulishe kwa baraza la kichungaji la ndekania yetu E, tuko na tafadhali msimame mahala mko nitawajulisha kijumla so that we can save on time tafadhali wale ambao wana hudumu wale wame, wamechaguliwa wakati huu tafadhali tusimame tusimame si zote dpc kumaanisha hata viongozi wa monitors wa vikundi wa ndekania hao ndio viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa eh, kuendesha eh, shughuli za ndekania awamu ya 2023-2026. Thank you very much. Alafu tuko na wale ambao walikuwa wanahudumu eh, kipindi kilichopita awamu iliyopita tafadhali wale wamefika ningeomba msimame. Ndio tu Okay thank you very much Simon of Florence naona hapo kuna wengine pia ambao wamerudi kama mimi nilikuwa na hudumu pia katika hicho kikundi eh tunawashukuru kwa kufika na kudhulia ibada, ibada hii ya misa ya sherehe zetu za familia za siku ya familia eh nikifikia hapo ningetaka kumrudishia eh, MC tumsifu Yesu Kristo basi tumpigie makofi mondarita wa dinari yetu asanti sana kwa kutuongoza vizuri na kuwatabulisha viongozi wetu sasa kwa wakati huu namwalika father dean reverend father john mohindi ili aweze kuongea nasi karibu tumsifu yesu kristo tumsifu tena God is good and all the time. Asante ni kwa majina kama mlivyosikia naitwa Father John Mohinde na Baba Askofu kwa ruhusa yako ninayo machache ambayo ningependa kugusia niliyoandika katika ukurasa wa pili kwa zile booklets ambazo tuko nazo. Kwa kifupi kwa sababu zimeandikwa kwa Kiswahili ni kwamba sisi sote katika dekania yetu ya Queen of Heaven and Earth tulitoka kwa parokia moja St. Riza Kalimoni ambayo ilianzishwa zaidi ya kama miaka mia moja iliyopita. Kwa hivyo mnapotuona sisi wote hiyo parokia ni mama ni mama yetu. Na kwa muda huo wote tumekuwa sasa na parokia tisa. The youngest kama mlivyo elezewa ni Divine Mercy mahali ambapo moderata the current moderator wa DPC eh, amejipata katika hiyo parokia mpya. Tunao 
tunaye padre pia atakaye jitablisha hapo baadaye ambaye ni paroko pale na shamasi wake na tunashukuru kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambayo imefanyika e, na wale ambao wamekuja mbele yetu wa missionari makatekista wa kristu wote ambao wamewaweza kupitisha hiyo imani mpaka ikaweza kutupikia wakati wetu tunamshukuru Mungu kwamba sasa tuko na hizo parokia tisa. naomba tupigie Mungu makofi wakati huu tuko mapadre eh, kama ishirini, mapadre wa missionari mapadre wa diocese tukishirikia na kazi pa, tukifanya kazi pamoja kama madugu na tunashukuru kwa sababu timu ile tuko nayo kwa dinari klaje kweli ni timu ambayo tumepatana na kama tulivyo kumbushwa na baba askofu kwamba sisi pia katika klaje eh, dinari klaje kwamba sisi pia ni familia moja ya wote wa missionary na deosian tunafanya kazi pamoja na tunamshukuru Mungu la tatu ni kwamba ni jukumu letu kuendeleza kazi ambayo tumepewa na tumepokezwa na wale ambao wamekuja wamekuja mbele yetu tukiwashukuru na vile dekania yetu inaendelea kuenea kuna wakao waka, 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 wakaji wengi wanaokuja na kwa kweli tunatazamia hata kupata parokia zingine zaidi eh, kutoka, kutokana na wingi wa wakristu ambao wako katika dekania yetu ni jukumu letu sio sisi tu mapadre ama makate kista na viongozi jukumu letu kama wakristu wote Tuwaja, tujaribu kuwafikia wote walio katika dekania yetu ili tuendelee kuwa familia moja tunapo waona wengi na tunapoona imani katoliki ikienea kweli tunashukuru tunasema this is god's doing kama tunavyoelezwa na zaburi 18 mstari wa 23 kwamba it is god's doing his work in our midst na kwa hiyo tuweze kushirikiana eh, wote ili tueneze injili na tusabaze injili ya kanisa katoliki ufalme wa Mungu katika dekania yetu la mwisho ni kuwatakia e, furaha katika hii siku yetu ya family day ya queen of heaven and earth tunashukuru kwamba hata kama sisi ni dekania ambayo tunaweza kusema kwamba ni changa sana iliyo na miaka mitano kazi yetu haionyeshi kwamba sisi ni changa si tumekoma tumekoma kabisa tujipigie makofi tafadhali basi tuendelee kufanya hiyo kazi ambayo Mungu ametujalia katika dekania yetu. Pia ningependa kuchukua hii nafasi kuweza kumshukuru baba askofu. Tumefurahi sana kwamba umekuja kututembelea. Na tumefurahi sana hata kwa maneno yako ya familia ambayo ni maneno ya maana na ni maneno ya busara. Na tunaendelea kukukaribisha hata hapo baadaye wakati wote tutakualika tungependa pia uweze kuja na kuwa pamoja na sisi pia tunashukuru kwa sababu hakuna wakati tumeweza kuwahitaji kama maskofu wetu na mkakosa kuja kututembelea na kutuongoza katika ibada ya misa tunashukuru kabisa sasa ningependa kuchukua hii nafasi niweze kualika mapadri wajitabulishe kwa sababu sio wote watakuwa na nafasi ya kusema kitu at least kila moja aweze kutaja jina lake na mahali ambapo anafanya kazi naomba tupeze kupata microphone tutaanza na hawa ambao wameketi hapa chini padre karibu jina na mahali ambapo unafanya kazi kwa majina ninaitwa padre Martin Jao mimi ni mwana shirika wa mtakatifu kamili. Ninafanya kazi katika chumba cha malezi Nairobi 
na kuja kusaidia hapa katika parokia ya mtakatifu Petro Kwehota. Tumpigie makofi tafadhali. Asante sana. Tumusifu Yesu Kristo. Naitwa John Muthengi. Mzaliwa ukambani kalelewa Meru. Mimi ni mmishanari kule kwa Wajaluo. Ni na kazi hapa Nairobi Archdiocese kama rector wa seminari yetu kule Hadi. Asante sana. Asante sana Padre. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati Father Peter Kerry Jimbo Kula Nairobi nafanya kazi mtakatifu Lucia Membley God is good all the, all the time God is good Mimi naitwa Padre Lawrence Joge nafanya kazi katika parokia mtakatifu Agostino pale Juja na pia niko chaplain katika Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture na Technology. Kwa ruhusa ya Baba Askofu na kwa sababu wa bazo haziwezi epukeka naomba nisimame hapa. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Jina langu ni Padre Paul Nganga ambaye ametuma kufanya kazi pale Divine Mercy the newest parish na ukiangalia hapa among the youngest priest and the shortest in the dinari asante sana asante karibu sana padre karibu karibu sana tumsufu yesus christus daima na milele amina na mimi na joseph ate fara joseph ate i come from cameroon and uh, i am in the maria police center juja root maria police international center of the folklore Asante, asante Padre. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Daima na milele amina. Mungu ni mwema. Na kila wakati. Naitwa Father Nicholas, missionary of missionaries of Marianil, nafanya kazi juja from parish. Mungu ni mwema. Kila wakati. God is good. And all the time. Dikon Paul Kariuki nafanya kazi katika parokia ya Maria Immaculata Kumura. Asante. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Amen. Mimi Father Stephen Shaiju kutoka shirika la mapadri wa Vincent wa Paulo nafanya utume katika parokia ya Kalimoni. Asante. Asante sana. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good all the time. Mimi naitwa Father Stanoch Matthew kutoka parokia St. Teresa Kalimoni. Asante. Asante. The Lord is good all the time. All the time. God is good. My name is Reverend Father James Nanbak. I'm from Nigeria. I'm schooling at Kenyatta University and I'm resident at St. Lucia. Thank you. Asante sana. God is good all the time and all the time God is good Na mimi naitwa Father Joseph Atuanyike Parokia ya Maria Immaculata Wakikuyu anaita Kumura Wahidi tunaita Kumura Mungu Yesu Kristo Daima na milele amen Father Rafael Kefui St. Augustine Junja Asante Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema Father Charles Njoroge ndugu mdogo mkapo chini nafanya kazi parokia mtakatifu Francisco Asisi Roiro Asante Father Mungu ni mwema kila wakati na kila wakati Mungu ni mwema ndugu mkapo chini pita waweru na saidia katika St Francis of Asisi Roiro Asante Asante sana na wengine ambao wamekaa hapa karibu na askofu na ambao waweze pia kujitaburisha God is good. 
God is good all the time. All the time. God is good. Wow. Kwa jina wanjao nafanya kazi katika hii parokia Kwehota na tena mimi ni missionary wa mtakatifu Kamilo. Asanteni na karibuni sana. Asanteni. Asanti sana Padre. God is good all the time. And all this time. God is good. Deacon Cyrus Kanyara working at Divine Mercy Parish Kenya Road. Asante sana Shamas Karim. God is good and all the time. What who shaga kama mimi ni father eh? <laughs> Yes, I am a priest. My name is Father Bernard Kafio, liturgical coordinator at Diocese of Nairobi. Thank you so much. Asante sana, asante padre. Kuna ya moja hapa pia atajitablisha na ni moja wetu. God is good all the time. Father Michael Kivatu kwa sababu zisizoweza kuepukika sikuweza kuvaa mavazi nafanya kazi kule kumura Mary Immaculate. Asante sana. Kuna Padre Rollins. Mimi naitwa Father Ruben nafanya kazi hapa St Peter. Asante. Asante sana. Basi eh, na nyenyekea kuweza kumwalika eh, baba askofu eh, labda ana me, mengine angependa kutushauri kama baba askofu na tunakualika wakati huu ni wako na utakapokuwa maliza tungependa pia utubarikie certificate ambazo tungeweza kuwapelekea wale ambao ume, umesikia kwamba walihudumu katika eh, muda uliopita na wameweza E, kuwapea uongozi wale waongo, viongozi wapya ambao tuko nao sasa baba askofu karibu sana naomba tumkaribishe kwa makofi tafadhali basi langu fadhalini kukushukuru eh Una... kwa hivyo kama tukiwa nafasi ya monisini ya pengine utapata basi mimi nakuwa takia ina baraka siku siku ya leo na pia kuwapa ujumbe kutoka kwa askofu mkuu mahali ambapo yeye hangeweza kufika anamtuma msaidizi wake hili ndio maana yake niko hapa eh amewasalimu na amesema yupo pamoja nanyi wakati huu na anawaombea na anawapenda basi certificate ziko wapi eh tubariki basi Mungu mzabii certificate na wote ambao watakuwa kizitumia kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu nimesibariki sasa Asante sana sasa baba askofu kwa heshima kubwa akiwa amesimama hapa tutapatia watu watatu za kwanza tatu zitapatianwa na baba askofu za kwanza tatu za kwanza tatu zitasomwa na baba askofu na kwa heshima kubwa zingine zitapatianwa baadaye pita 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 njologe petro njologe Petro njologe sasa endelea na kazi sasa unajulikana kwa certificate hii eh Asante Lady Awaidira Lady Awaidira Ah amekutuma eh 
Ah, we modeta wake. Basi mwene, mwambie sasa, tumeamu utambua sasa. Aende na kazi, eh. Naomi Maina. Naomi Maina. Kama yuko moderator wake. From St. Christopher. From St. Christopher. Anakuja, anakuja, Santi. Now, my son is up. We may kazi, eh? Una, eh? I'm a good woman, eh? Like in a rock, you may break here. Eh, Asante. Asante sana, Baba Skofu. Asante sana. Tunashukuru. Sasa kwa wakati huu, ningetaka kumualika pia Father Dean kwa matangazo uh, kwa niyaba ya dinali yetu. Karibu Father Dean. Asante sana. Tangazo la kwanza ni kuakumbusha kwamba uh, jumamosi ya tarehe kuminambili tutakuwa na The Ozician Family Day kule Musongari. E, tufike mapema kuanzia uko sa tatu ya subuhi ama mapema zaidi ili tuweze pia kushiriki e, The Ozician Family Day kama vile tumekumbushwa na baba askofu na kama kuna mtu angependa kupata kitu bio anaombwa akaweza kufika mapema aweze kupata hiyo nafasi ya kupata kitu bio tangazo la pili ni kwamba baba askofu kwa rusa yako niweze kutangaza kwamba katika dekania hii ya Rero Queen of Heaven and Earth tumeweza kutoa michango yote ambayo tulikuwa e, tumeombwa na baba askofu e, kuweza kutoa um, kwa hivyo e, Rero kuhota St Peter wameweza kutoa mchango wao wote na wakazidisha hata na 1200 namba tuwapigie makofi tafadhali Juja Farm Presentation of the Lord wameweza kutoa eh, zao 750,000 kwa hivyo wameweza kutoa asilimia moja. Tuwapigia makofi tafadhali. St. Augustine eh, Catholic Parish pia wameweza kutoa mchango wao wa 1.5 1. na wametoa zote. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. Kalimoni Centriza pia wameweza kutoa mchango wao wote wa 1750 100% wapigie makofi tafadhali Roiro St Francis pia wameweza kutoa mchango wao wote wa milioni mbili. tuwapigie makofi tafadhali Roiro Mebli St Lucia wametoa eh, elfu wametoa elfu Miatano. Wametoa elfu miatano. Nafikiri wamebakisha elfu miatano kuliga na ire rekodi ni konayo. Lakini namba tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. Wamwisho but not the least ni Roiro St. Christopher Parish. Ilikuwa allocated milioni moja. Na wameza kutoa milioni moja na elfu ishirini juu yake. Tuwapigie makofi tafadhali. Kwa hiyo kwa mchango wote ambao tulikuwa tumeuliza tu, tuweze kuchanga kwa uh, family dia dosis tumeweza kuchanga milioni saba elfu arobaini. Tuchipikie makofi tafadhali. Asanti. La mwisho ningependa kumwalika fadha. Kuna tangazo fadha atafanya akuje. Atajitabulisha tu akikurudi tena. Ndiyo aseme ile kazi ana, 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 anafanya. Father Dr. Eh, Joroge, karibu sana. Asante uh, sana. Baba askofu wetu David Kamau, na ni vizuri sana kwa sababu umekuja kama ulivyosema wengi waitarajia ya kwamba itakuwa askofu mkuu but no one thing 
we are equally happy that you are here. I have not a doubt about that. Napia, Dean Wetu, Father Muhende, Nawenyeji Wetu, Hapa, Father Wanjau, and Father Njagi, my Padre, my brother priests, my brothers, religious sisters, Naborita Wetu, Kennedy, ambaye tumefanya kazi na yeye siku nyingi na wana dekania wote na wageni ambao wako hapa katika dekania ya Ruiru Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati hebu tusalimiane Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati God is good and all the time Wow I am going to be very brief. Kwanza Father Dean, shukrani sana. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I have some little fame of saying three things, but today I am going to say only one thing, not three things. Recently, and when I say recently, I mean about 20 years ago. Recently, about 20 years ago, a good and holy man, mtu mzuri na mtu mtakatifu, aliishi katietu. A good and holy man lived among us. And I wanted to underline the words, good and holy, mzuri na mtakatifu, good and holy. Can we say that again? Good and holy. A good and holy man lived among us. And I have no doubt about that. Those who were born after the year 2000 did not have the fortune of meeting him in person. But those born before the year 2000, those born before 2003, to the, at the turn of the century, they were very, very fortunate. They were very, very lucky because they met that a good and holy man. Mtumzuri, mtumtakatifu, a good and holy man. And already many of you know the person I am talking about. Wale ambao ni watu wa zamani, wale ambao ni watu wa before. And you can tell the people of before, from the people who are not the people of before. Watu wa before had the fortune of meeting that person face to face. And there are many people here who were lucky enough and blessed enough to be ministered to in terms of the Catholic sacraments, uh, by that good and holy man. There are many people here who received the sacrament of confirmation from the hands and the oils given to them by the servant of God, Maurice Maiko Kadno Otunga. True or not? And I am sure if I ask them to stand or to raise their hands. I let them raise their hands. Persons who are confirmed here by the servant of God, they are even, even, even priests, even bishop, and many, many Christians. Let us even stand. That is going to be even better. Wasimame. Wale amba wale patiwa sacramenti ya kipayumara na servant of God, Maurice Maiko Kadno Otunga. You see, in the Bible, it is said that you need two witnesses. Now, I have more than two witnesses here. And let us do a pick up my coffee. How am I? Am I the pocket sacrament? Yeah, we do a kwa. Morris Maiko Kano Tunga. I am here to say only one thing. It is 20 years this year, 2023. This is going to be the 20th anniversary of the death, of the departure of the servant of God, Maurice Maiko Kadno Tunga. 
he departed from us, you can do that mathematics in the year 2003. He confirmed many people here, they have risen. There are quite a number of my brother priests here who received the sacrament of holy orders from the servant of God. I am not going to ask them to stand, uh, but uh, I know they are here. And Baba Askof Kamau, even when it came to the sacrament of becoming bishop, uh, because that is in uh, Father Bena, I, I do not want to be wrong about that, uh, but uh, I know that it is in the direction of holy orders. I am here to request one thing, and it is not my request. It is the request of the Archbishop of Nairobi and of Bishop Kamau, because they are the petitioners. Our Archbishop, Bishop Filippo Agnolo, is asking us to pray fervently and to pray seriously so that the servant of God Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga, his process, that he may be promoted to the next level. At the present moment, he is servant of God. And the petitioner, who is the Archbishop of Nairobi and Bishop Kamau, is part of that process. They have asked Rome, they have asked the Holy Father, they have asked the office in Rome to promote, to elevate the servant of God to the next level, which we all know is the level of venerable. And after that, to be elevated to the level of blessed. And finally, to be canonized saint. It is going to be a climax for this country, a true climax a true kilele, a true kairos, when we are able to mention the name of the servant of God, canonized as a saint. Because it is going to be the first time that a child of this soil will have become a saint. And I think for the Bena, I am not wrong in that regard. And for the Father Bena and others are confirming it. And therefore, I know I already said that. And I know I am going on and I am going to shorten this. I am asking on behalf of our Archbishop and of Bishop Kamau, who are the petitioners, that we pray fervently, that we pray seriously, because we are, as Catholics, persons of prayer that the servant of God is going to be promoted to the next level. There is going to be a mass at the Holy Family Basilica on the 6th of September. An arrangement is being made and has been made, an invitation by our Archbishop from all the 117 or 18 parishes of the Archdiocese of Nairobi to send representatives to that mass so that we may celebrate this good and holy man. And before that time, copies of the prayer for the beatification of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Otunga, are going to be distributed to all parishes of the Archdiocese. And in our situation, that is going to be done through our dean. So that from the beatification office, uh, the prayer of beatification in Kiswahili, in English, in Lubukusu, in Luya, in Kijeluo, in Kimeru, in Kiembu, in Kikuyu, in the other language I did not mention, those prayers are going to be distributed to all parishes of the Archdiocese of Nairobi. Our calling, our business, is to pray, to pray that he is elevated to the next level because that a good and holy man 
what we are praying that he be promoted to that level. As I conclude, recently I wrote a book, a book of the history of the Catholic Church in Kenya. It has quite a number of pages, and I am saying that it has quite a number of pages because it is 528 pages. I began with Vasco da Gama in 1498 because Vasco da Gama arrived in Mombasa in April 1498. And I have conducted research. I completed this book last year. I did the research up to April of 2022. And in the final chapter, the final chapter of this book, the climax of this book, the high point of this book is Maurice Cardinal Tunga, humble servant of God. And what I have done in that chapter is that I have given a summary of his official biography. Because the Archbishop of Nairobi and Bishop Kamau recently asked me to write the official biography of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga. I wrote the official, his life history, and then the Archbishop of Nairobi and Bishop Kamau submitted through the Nunciature, through the representative of the Holy Father, they presented that official biography in Rome. It will be published at the appropriate moment when Rome gives the permission to publish that official biography. Meanwhile, I have given a summary of the life of the servant of God in this book, Beyond Century of Endeavor, A History of the Catholic Church in Kenya. It is available at the Catholic Bookshop and in various bookshops. I brought some copies and they are available at the entrance of this church. It is a long book. And because it is a long book and it is also done glossy, and there are many, many photographs, I think about 80 or 90 photographs. It is a book that is quite uh, dear. It is dear in many ways. It is costing at the Catholic Bookshop 2,500 Kenya shillings, 528 pages. But because we are in the dinner here today, it is going to be available at 2,300 shillings for persons who are interested in reading the summary of the life of Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga, servant of God, a good and a holy man. Baba Askofu, I have a request to make. Because these prayers are going to be distributed in the parishes, and Baba Askofu, because we are here. And because this person is a very, very important person for all of us and for the Catholic Church in Kenya. With your permission, I am going to request that we are also, Father Benai, you, you, you will give that permission. Also, uh, support that permission, not give that, that permission, but support that permission or the request for that permission so that we may arise before we conclude and say the prayer for the beatification of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga. After we have prayed it, I am not going to say anything more. Kindly let us arise. I know you do not, but I will be able to read, and those who are who know it off by heart, a few do will join me. The others will pray in their hearts. Prayer for the beatification of the servant of God, Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga. You, Maurice Michael. Let us begin. O oh God, you granted your servant Maurice Michael Cardinal Tunga the grace to be an exemplary pastor at the service of the church, making him a symbol of humility and love for the poor and less fortunate in society, while denying and detaching himself from the pleasures of the world. A grant we beseech thee, that, he may also, that we may also learn to respond faithfully to the demands of the Christian vocation, 
converting all moments and circumstances of our life into opportunities of loving you and our neighbor with joy and kindness and of serving the kingdom of God with humility. We humbly request you to grant your servant Cardinal Tunga a share in the glory of heaven which is promised to those who have served you well. Through his intercession, bless the church, our country, our families and children, and grant us the favors we humbly request. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Kindly be seated. Asantana, Asantana, Reverend Doctor. Wakati huu kwa heshima kubwa nitamuomba baba askofu aweze kuteremuka pale chini akisaidiwa na fadha uh, tuweze kusimama ili tuweze kupata baraka ya mwisho kwanza tusimame kabla ya baraka ya mwisho nitakusambia father Lawrence amesema sio tu kumuombea Kano Molly Sutunga. Lakini tuombe kwa intercession yake. Sisi ambao tufanya kazi karibu naye kana Father Lawrence, Father Lawrence askiwa education secretary na mimi nikiwa focus director wakati wake tunajua yeye ni mtakatifu. Na kwa hiyo katika familia ukiwa na shida yote ukiwa una ugonjwa wote uombe through the intercession of Cardinal Molis Otunga. Sio tu kumuombea lakini uombe yeye yeah, akuombe. Na muujiza ukitendeka you report to the to, to, to the office eh tunaelewana. Kwa sababu tunajua kweli hii ni mtakatifu na kwa sababu Father Lawrence ameandika juu historia yake wasi 2300 is that is that asking too much? Ah, why don't you buy the book? Eh? Namba si nitawapatia sasa baraka ya pekee. Bana awe nanyi. Mungu aliyependa kwa wema wake mkuu wakomboa wanadamu kwa kuzaliwa kwake mwanae na Bikira Maria mtakatifu apende kuwastawisha kwa baraka yake sote amina amina mjaliwe kumtambua daima na popote ulinzi wake yeye ambaye kwa kupitia kwake mstahili kumpokea muumba wa uzima. Nanyi mliokusanyika leo kwa moyo wa ibada mjaliwe kurudi mkiwa na mapaji ya furaha za kiroho. Na sasa baraka yake Mwenyezi Mungu, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu iwashukie na kukaa nanyi daima. Ndeni na mani misa imekuisha. Sasa ni kukata keki, sivyo? Yes. Tufanya hivyo sasa. Sasa na muomba baba askofu kwa heshima, hame teremuka pale chini, na tunapo jianda kukata keki, tungedaka kuanza na akina mama, wakona zawadi kwa baba askofu, wakifuatwa na akina baba, watu wafuata akina mama kwa zawadi kwa baba askofu. Tujaribu kufanya haraka akina mama karibuni. Ah. 
akina baba akina baba karibuni Father Anyike Tafadhari Father Anyike Tafadhari Baba Skovu Wanaume wa Katureki Wame Tua zawadi yao Na Wanatua zawadi yao Ya kwanza ikiwa ni ya parokia hii Ya kwanza ikiwa ni parokia hii Ya Ya moja Na Tunaigine, uh, tunaigine pia, odoi, tunaigine pia, ya wanaume, wadina limote, nitho kiongezo wana moderator wetu, na chaprenti wetu, karibu sada. Yeah. <laughs> Santeni sana akina baba, sasa na, mwali, na walika akina mama, ambao watatuwezesha kutusaidia kukata keki, tukiongozo na baba askofu. Karibuni akina mama. tutakata keki uh, askofu na dean na parish priest representing the holy trinity tuko na familia baba mama na watoto that is the family today and we ask you to cut the cake that we remain united tuwe na upendo na tufumiliane asante karibu sana Do wa wendo 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 nyo do wa wendo ne kyo twe go ko wendo wa familia wendo wendo nyo do wa wendo ne kyo twe go ko wendo wa Christo wendo wendo nyo do wa wendo ne kyo twe go ko binare ya roiroma wendo. Tafadhari, we share the cake. Tafadhari, Dean, upe askofu. Askofu, upe Dean, na watoto, wako wote, na parish priests. Tam 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 keki ni tamu hae Tam tam keki ni tamu hae Tam 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 keki ni tamu hae Tam tam keki ni tamu hae Keki ya familia keki ni tamu hae Tam 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 keki ni tamu Na fanda wa jao keki ni tamu hae Tam 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 keki Tamu hae, tam 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 keki ni tamu hae, tam 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 keki ni tamu hae, kam tam tam keki ni tamu. 
My father, mother, da keki. My father, mother, da keki. My father, mother, da keki. Keki no ya family. My father, mother, da keki. My father, mother, da keki. My father, mother, da keki. Keki no ya. My father, my he ka he kwa. My father, my he ka he kwa. My father, my he ka he kwa. Keki. Aduli mare da keki. Aduli mare da keki. Aduli. To me, I'm a red keki. To me, I'm a keki. To me, I'm a I don't have my hair, keki. I don't have my hair, keki. I don't have my hair, keki. Keki, no, I have a mere. Imekuwa ni ibada takatifu ya misa sherehe ya siku ya kifamilia kwenye dekania ya mama yetu Bikira Maria Malkia wa Bingu na Dunia eneo la Ruwiru dekania ambayo imejengwa na parokia na ne kuongezea ya tisa ambayo imezaliwa wiki mbili zilizopita sherehe ambayo imeongozwa na askofu msaidizi kwenye jimbo hili kuu la Nairobi mwashamu David Kamau na kwenye ujumba wake akikazia eh, umuhimu wa kuishi mai isha bora kwenye familia familia ya baba na mama na watoto wao familia ya uh, parokia familia ya dekania na familia ya jimbo kuu la Nairobi ujumbe mwingine ni kwamba alikuwa akiwaombea viongozi ambao wamechaguliwa uh, wiki tatu ama uh, miezi mitatu iliyopita katika uh, uh, dekania hii na kote ambako uh, viongozi wapi wamechaguliwa wame ili waendelee kuhudumu ama kuongoza kama watumishi kama alivyo alivyoelezea kwenye ujumba wake servant leadership ama uongozi wa kuhudumia wengine na mfano wa Yesu mwenyewe basi imekuwa ni furaha yetu kuendelea kuinjilisha pamoja nawe na kwa niaba yako ambapo leo tumekuwa kwenye jimbo kuu la Nairobi wiki ijayo tutapata nafasi ya kuinjilisha kutoka nje ya jimbo kuu ambapo tutasafiri kwenda jimbo katoliki la Meru kuinjilisha pamoja na familia ya masista wa mama yetu mfikish eh, aliyepashwa ujumbe ama another sisters of the annunciation ili tuweze kushiriki nao furaha zao kumbuka kwamba mwezi huu ni mwezi mkuu kwetu sisi wa kapuchini kwenye kapuchini tv ambapo tunaadhimisha miaka sita tangu Mwenyezi Mungu alipotujalia neema hii ya kuinjilisha katika mitambo hii ya uinjilishaji basi kwa niaba ya vijana wengi waliosimama na kuketi masaa marefu ili ujumbe wa injili kufikie tunakushukuru wewe kwa kuendelea kutuenzi tunakuombea Mungu aendelee kukubariki na kukujalia mahitaji yako siku ya kesho Jumapili ya 18 ya kipindi cha mwaka basi tunakutakia baraka za Mwenyezi Mungu kwa niaba ya wote Mungu akubariki na kukulinda endelea kutazama Kapujin TV kitambulisho katoliki Kapuchin TV huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji Novena towards the celebration of the Archdiocese of Nairobi Family Day from that to 11th August this year Oh God who you please to give us the shining example of the holy family of Jesus Mary and Joseph graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity we thank you for the gift of the family of the Archdiocese of Nairobi, guided by this year's theme of a united family, strong in faith, journeying together in spirit and in truth. We pray that you may establish all our families' family in your grace and your peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the Synod. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. 
We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stay from the way of truth and what is right. All these we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Na hii Capuchin TV ni chombo kizuri sana. Na chombo hiki kazi yake ni evangelization. Kwa hivyo ningeomba mufanya mambo matatu. Jambo la kwanza tafadhali wewe enda uangalie Capuchin TV. Kuna mambo mazuri sana. Kuna maombi kuna watoto wanafanya mambo mazuri kuna mafundisho kuna misa takatifu kila siku kwa hivyo tafadhali ukipata nafasi utazane utazame kapu chin tv jambo la pili uwaombe kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya manake ndio tv ya kipekee ya catholic na mabishop wanai support kabisa manake inafanya kazi mzuri kama leo kama kuna watu wako Italy wangependa kuangalia what is happening leo wangepata nafasi. Kwa hivyo muwaombe sana kwa hiyo kazi nzuri ambao wanafanya na jambo la tatu mwa support. Wewe wana paybill number watumie hata ni kama ni shilingi mbili. Kwa hivyo tafadhali mwa support mwatumie kitu kidogo kwa paybill number na mambo hayo ili waweze kuendelea na hiyo kazi. Kwa hivyo asatendi father kwa hiyo kazi mzuri ambayo wanafanya. Tuendelee kufanya kazi paybill number 5106678 account name Caps TV. We spread our wings and here we are And with Mary proclaiming our yes We seek to serve and follow the will of our Lord, our Father The International World Youth Day is a global Catholic youth faith festival and pilgrimage. It is a celebration that entails a program of religious education or catechesis, spiritual formation, and faith sharing or testimonies. The first proper World Youth Day was held in Rome, Italy at the invitation of Pope John Paul II, now St. John Paul II. The last World Youth Day was held in Panama City in 2019. This year's event is being held in Lisbon, Portugal from 1st to 6th August. The theme of this year's event is Mary arose and went with haste, Luke chapter 1 verse 39. The Holy Father Pope Francis will attend the event. Stay tuned here on Capuchin TV as we bring you the highlights of this event. Capuchin TV wishes all youths, those who travel to Lisbon, Portugal, and those back here in our country a fruitful encounter with the Lord Jesus. It is my hope that the celebration of World Youth Day will help young people look to Jesus Christ in order to face the challenge of life with courage. May they return from this powerful event emboldened to arise and set out. For now is the time to bear witness to the gospel with joy, especially where men and women feel tired, disillusioned or lost. Nowadays, we need the young builders of a new culture of encounter who, in professing the Christian faith enthusiastically, 
are ready to put themselves on the line in welcoming others. So I encourage young people to experience these days intensely, following the example of Mary, in order to learn from her how to show care and solidarity toward the men and women of our time. Keep watching Capuchin TV, celebrating our sixth anniversary this August. Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. Far and wide together in this place, we spread our wings, and here we are. And with Mary proclaiming our yes, we seek to serve and follow the The Nazareth Sisters of the Annunciation is a women religious congregation that was founded to proclaim and witness God's love by empowering women, youth and children, especially the less fortunate. This is a congregation that was founded in Meru by the late Right Reverend Vita Lawrence Bessone, who was the first bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Meru, and he's, he was a consolata missionary. At that time of the foundation of our congregation, it was a very tough time in our nation because it was the period of the Mau Mau. And he found it wise to begin this congregation so that the sisters would care for the women and the children who were so much marginalized at that time. We could see the women there suffering in the villages because the men were out there fighting. So this congregation of the religious sisters was founded so that we could cater for the needs of these women and children, not leaving aside the youth. Since its formation, the congregation has witnessed remarkable growth. The congregation has grown in numbers. At currently, we, the professed members are 189 and 26 for me. And it has reached to a number of dioceses. We are in Nairobi, Kitale, Lodwa, Masabit, Embu, Isiolo, Nyahururu, and USA, Uganda, Tanzania, and of course, Meru, where is our mother house. The sisters' lives are profoundly shaped by their charism, leading them to selflessly serve others with love and compassion. Our charism is to proclaim and witness God's love among women, the youth, and the children with the spirit of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We empower women and by this embracing the will of God and extending the services of Jesus Christ to save humanity by empowering women, the youth and the children. We empower them through pastoral works, through social activities. Pastoral works, we, are, we take care of the sacrist, sisters act, act as sacristans. We do home visit, we do couple counseling to empower these women in their families. Pastoral wise, we work in health institutions, we serve in schools, in basic levels of education. We also serve in advanced levels of education like colleges and universities, so that as we continue empowering the women, the children and the youth, we may have this touch in the society. We also find our sisters working in administrative places and duties. We have sisters who work in secretarial duties, so that as we continue empowering the children and the women, we may also extend our services to those people who are not near to us through our responsibilities. On the 10th of August, the sisters will be commemorating the positive outcomes and impact of their efforts through commitment and sacrifices of their dating sisters as they celebrate their first profession, perpetual vows, Silver Jubilee and Golden Jubilee. This is the time when our loving founder, father founder, that is Lawrence Victor Bessone, celebrated his feast day. That is the feast of St. Lawrence the Deacon. 
He used to celebrate this day very much, and so he felt the need to, have, to receive the vows of the sisters on such a material day. And this is the reason why this falls on this very particular day of 10th of August. And now on 10th of August every year we have these celebrations of the Silver Jubilee, the First Profession, the Final Profession, the Golden Jubilee, and any other celebrations that come along. And so, this being the case, this year also we have similar celebrations. On this special occasion, the sisters extend a warm invitation to all of you to join in these celebrations. I take this opportunity to welcome and invite all the guests who will be coming, parents of our sisters, brothers of our sisters, sisters of our sisters, relatives of our sisters, and all friends, and more particularly those that sisters have interacted in, with in one way or the other during the course of the evangelization, during the course of working, and also those that they have interacted with during the course of their lifetime as they celebrate different occasions, different steps in life. We pray that everybody comes. As they mark this day, the sisters extend a special invitation to young women who feel that they have a calling to join them. And more particularly want to invite even those that feel that they want to come and celebrate with us, our benefactors, all the friends of our congregation, you are all welcome. Mass will be at 10 o'clock in Consolata Primary School. For somebody to become a member of Nazareth Sisters or to join the congregation of the Nazareth Sisters must first of all have attained discipline and if possible have a course in the relevant area of interest. This member also should, have, should be a practicing Catholic. Also must not have attempted marriage. Also must be somebody who is interested, who is willing to join the congregation. And if possible, somebody who has seen our charism and feels that she wants to express her way of life through our charism. Let me take this opportunity to thank God for the fact that he has brought us as a congregation. And especially as we celebrate the achievement of our dear sister, sisters in their religious life. I want to congratulate them, the sisters taking their first profession, those who are taking their perpetual profession, those who are celebrating their Silver Jubilee, and our dear sisters, our elders in the congregation, who are celebrating the Golden Jubilee. It's not an easy journey to, to reach this far, but it is the grace of God. So our dear sisters, we really appreciate you, we pray for you, and we celebrate this day with you, and we wish you all the best in your life and in the service of the Lord and his people. For more information, contact the Nazareth Sisters of the Annunciation Vocation Office on 0790-547-439 or 0773-938-317. You can also visit our website, info at Nazareth Sisters Meru, dot org keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity channel <laughs>
and accepting each other as we work together as one family. We are all welcome to come and pray together, asking God to hear our prayers and heal our country and make us live as brothers and sisters. God bless you. St. Patrick's Missionary Society was officially founded on 17th of March 1932 in Wicklow County of Ireland and in 1951, compelled by Christ's love to reach out in service to God's people, it opened its doors to Kenya. The missionaries of St. Patrick's are delighted to invite you to the diaconate ordination of 10 of their members. The candidates to be ordained to the Order of Deacons are... Humphrey Wesonga, Jeremiah Bassey, Barnabas Kumasun, Stanley Wehere, Joseph Gibrin, Anthony Ugo Chuku, Levi Uchenna, Asu Paul Eyare, Imez Vika, and Thomas Michael Zegi. The diaconate ordination mass is slated for Saturday, 19th of August, 2023, at the Holy Family Parish in Utawala, Nairobi, Kenya, starting 10 a.m. East African time. The chief celebrant and ordaining prelate will be His Grace Most Reverend Maurice Muhatia Makumba, Archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Kisumu. This celebration will be aired live on your number one Catholic broadcasting channel, Capuchin TV, and all its corresponding digital podia simultaneously. You can also follow a live stream of the event on St. Patrick's Theology House Facebook page. For inquiries about the diaconate ordination or how to become a missionary of St. Patrick, contact the Vocations Director on 0708 661 916 or send an email to vocspsea at gmail.com. Capuchin TV congratulates the deacons to be and the entire St. Patrick Missionary Society. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Capuchin 